Chapter 781 Enemies Inside the Ancient Cave Translator Born to be a body had been pierced and blood flowed out, but what was doing the piercing was a lightning spear, not a sword. In an instant, a person in a mask had appeared behind Long Chen. Long Chen didn't look back, still holding the lightning spear, he icily said, You might be able to hide in thin air, but you can't hide from my senses. Your assassination arts are just a joke in front of me. Suddenly, the lightning spear shook, and the assassin from the blood kill hall exploded before they could make a sound. Putting away the lightning spear, Long Chen continued forward. From the beginning to the end, Long Chen hadn't even looked at the person. Ever since coming into contact with the blood kill hall's assassins, Long Chen had lost count of how many times they had tried to assassinate him. Now, he could feel it whenever assassins from the blood kill hall approached him. So even though these assassins could suppress their auras, their heartbeats, their breaths, and their killing intent, they were still unable to escape the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art. So for them to think that they could assassinate Long Chen was an immense joke. Long Chen advanced several hundred meters into the cave. Eventually, he arrived at a well-lit area that was like a den. There were eight caves he could go into now, and each of them had an immortal character written above their entrance. But Long Chen didn't recognize the characters. But what he didn't expect was that as soon as he walked in, he became the focus of six corrupt celestials. Those six people all possessed powerful auras, and they surrounded him. Long Chen, one of the corrupt experts was like a dried up corpse. His eyes were deeply set, and he looked like a zombie that had crawled up from the underground. Long Chen immediately realized why that assassin hadn't entered here. He had most likely entered here, but then seeing the six people in front of him, he had retreated. The blood kill hall was neutral just like the pill tower. They accepted business from the righteous path and the corrupt path. So they weren't allied with the corrupt path. He had left before the six of them could sense him. As a result, at that time, he had encountered Long Chen walking in. That assassin really was unlucky. After dodging six hungry wolves, he had been slaughtered by a fierce tiger. You're not running from me? Then that must mean you're quite the figure. Are you that fellow called Zuyu? Asked Long Chen. He sensed a great deal of pressure from this corpse-like man. HMPH, a great man like Zhu Yu doesn't need to personally kill you. Today, I'll bury you here. The corpse-like man suddenly took out a staff. A staff of mourning. Countless strips of scarlet cloth were tied around the top. Boom. As soon as the corpse-like man took out his weapon, countless runes erupted like a volcano. There were actually three different runes. Rank 3 Celestial. Long Chen was startled. He hadn't expected that one of them would be a rank 3 celestial, and his aura was actually much stronger than Shu Guan's he's. Die. The corpse-like man's morning staff smashed down like a bolt of lightning. Long Chen snorted and smashed his fist at it. He wanted to test this person's skills, but the instant his fist touched the morning staff, the red cloth on the staff suddenly stretched out like snakes, wrapping Long Chen completely before he could do anything. Ha ha ha. This is the existence at the top of the must-kill list. The figure that shook the entire corrupt path? He's just trash. Die. The corpse-like man laughed heartily. This weapon of his was no ordinary weapon. It was a high-grade enchanted item. And it was a corrupt weapon. This weapon could absorb the souls, blood, and flesh of the people it killed. Those things were condensed to form the scarlet strips of cloth. Normally, those strips of cloth were completely ordinary. But once they attacked, they could instantly coil around someone and crush them to death. Each strip of cloth had absorbed the flesh and spiritual strength of countless people. They were incredibly powerful, and it was essentially impossible to tear them apart with physical strength. Once they were activated, a person would immediately be crushed to a pulp. Boom. Just as the corpse-like man was about to kill Long Chen, the cloths wrapped around him exploded. Long Chen's entire body was surrounded by lightning runes. How close. What a strange attack. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a strange weapon. The instant he had been wrapped, he had circulated his Thunder Force to protect himself. Thunder Force possessed quite an advantage over corrupt weapons. Taking advantage of his shock, Long Chen immediately launched an attack. A fist covered in Thunder Force smashed toward the corpse-like man. The corpse-like man hastily used his staff to block. As a result, both Long Chen and the corpse-like man were forced back a few steps. Long Chen was startled. He once more shot forward. The other corrupt experts also recovered from their shock and joined the battle. These five were all ranked two celestials and incredibly powerful. It was no wonder they would want to kill him here. Get back. He's mine. Suddenly, the corpse-like man shot forward. His runes surging like a sea around him. 
A fierce aura caused the air to rumble, and the ground beneath his feet began to shudder. The most terrifying thing was that his aura contained a dense aura of death. Behind him, his runes actually formed an illusory mountain of corpses and sea of blood. Chaotic emotions of resentment resonated with heaven and earth. The scenes of countless people dying miserably flashed within the mountain and sea. They were crying. They were begging. They were screaming. They were filled with a thirst for life and a fear of death. Are those the people you killed? I see killing intent surfaced within Long Chen's eyes. Correct. They were all people I personally killed. And I only killed them after endless torment. That was the only way to gather enough resentment. He. Do you feel their terror? Their rage? Their powerlessness? And their thirst? He. Yes. Those are the emotions they were feeling right before their deaths. You'll quickly also become one of them. Your death will make me even stronger. The corpse-like man laughed sinisterly and excitedly. He was like a hunter looking at his prey. Good. I really have to thank you. In the future, when I encounter people from the corrupt path, I really won't have to feel bad about slaughtering them. You're all a pack of broods. Divine ring. Four-star battle armor. Boom. Heaven and earth rumbled. The entire cave shook as Long Chen's full strength erupted. The lightning runes on his fist surged as he once more attacked. The corpse-like man smashed his morning staff at Long Chen. But this time, the scarlet cloths on it had already been destroyed, and it was just a simple smash. As a result, the corpse-like man was blown back and smashed into the wall. In terms of brute power, when Long Chen went all out, the corpse-like man simply wasn't his match. The other five corrupt experts all attacked upon seeing the corpse-like man at a disadvantage. Die. Long Chen's roar was like thunder shaking their ears. A lightning blade appeared in his hands, and he slashed it mercilessly upon the five of them. Lightning erupted. The five of them were all ranked two celestials, but Long Chen hadn't held back at all. This was different from when he had fought against the four heavenly geniuses in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. This attack didn't just contain his power, it also contained endless killing intent. The five of them were also sent flying and vomited blood. Long Chen sighed inside. If he had blood drinker, this attack would have at least heavily injured them if not killed them. As soon as he forced the five of them back, the corpse-like man once more came charging at him. Ghost devours spirits. The corpse-like man suddenly opened his mouth, and a blood arrow shot out. The blood arrow split into four bloody mists that surrounded Long Chen. Those four bloody mists were like four evil ghosts. Long Chen felt a chill. There was definitely something off about this attack. He was just about to retreat when the corpse-like man coldly shouted, Explode! The four bloody mists exploded into blood-colored runes that enveloped Long Chen. Long Chen hastily circulated his thunder force to destroy these runes as he retreated. Those blood-red runes emitted black smoke upon encountering his thunder force, but quite a few of them still managed to break past the thunder force's blockade to land on Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly shivered. It felt like several ice cubes had forced their way into his body, and as those ice cubes melted, a corrosive kind of energy rapidly spread throughout his body. He immediately felt his body become weak, as if he had just gone through some immense battle and no longer had any energy. Ha ha ha, let me see how you struggle now. This attack of mine is no ordinary attack, but a curse. Although using this attack exhausted 90% of my curse energy and all the resentful spirits I've gathered, your life is still worth the cost. The corpse-like man was gasping for breath. Obviously, that ghost devourer spirit attack of his came with a heavy price. But there was still a sinister smile on his face. Die. The corpse-like man once more smashed his morning staff at Long Chen. He was aiming for Long Chen's waist because he wanted to first cripple him before killing him. Long Chen's smile was icy. He admitted that he really had ended up falling for this attack. But if his opponent thought he could kill him just like this, he was far too arrogant. He raised his hands. Surrendering has no use. Just die. The corpse-like man disdainfully looked at Long Chen as he raised his hands. Double Dragon Destruction. Chapter 782 Zhu Yu Translator. Born to be following Long Chen's shout, Lai Long and Huo Long flew out. They rapidly grew larger as they intertwined, looking like two dragons piercing out of the ground and the heavens. This action happened incredibly quickly. The corpse-like man had been extremely confident in his ghost devourer spirit curse, and he had thought that Long Chen would be powerless to retaliate. But his confidence had become the death of him. The two dragons directly caused his body to explode, and they continued forward, directly roaring toward the remaining five. Lai Long and Huo Long were too large, and they almost filled the entire cave. The five of them had no chance to flee, and they could only resist with their full strength. Boom. The five of them instantly exploded. 
Even the incomparably sturdy cave was blown wider. The corpse-like man only had a head remaining. Suddenly, two runic wings appeared on that head's back, and like a butterfly, it began to fly away. Long Chen's saber sliced that head cleanly in two, but then an illusory figure shot out. That was the corpse-like man's soul. If he could bring his head away, he would be able to survive. He had heard that as long as rank 3 celestials were given enough time, they could regenerate a full body from just a head. But now the head had been destroyed. The corpse-like man could only flee with his soul. His soul would at most be able to survive for 24 hours in the outside world before dissipating Noveloon.com so within the next 24 hours, he would have to find a suitable body to possess. Stay behind. Long Chen snorted and waved his hand. A lightning arrow shot at the soul. The corpse-like man's soul suddenly shouted, Lord Zuyu, save regretfully. Before he could finish shouting, the lightning arrow pierced through his soul. Lightning was the bane of all souls. His soul instantly exploded into runes. Those runes had only just appeared before they dispersed, being absorbed into the primal chaos space. Long Chen was delighted. He had gained yet another rank 3 heavenly Deo fruit. Suddenly, his heart shook. A sensation of terrifying danger caused his hair to stand on end. Without even thinking about it, he dodged to the side. A ray of light pierced his shoulder, bringing with it a spray of blood. He slammed into the wall and hastily looked in the direction of the attack. There were over ten people who had arrived, all of them from the corrupt path. The person at the front was a handsome long-haired man. He wore a golden crown and violet robes. His gaze was like two sharp blades stabbing into Long Chen. The most terrifying thing about him was his pitch-black third eye on his forehead. It looked as if it could devour all of heaven and earth. Truly worthy of being Long Chen, ranked number one on the must-kill list. Even under the ghost devourer's spirit curse, you were still able to kill Qi Luo. Long Chen, although we're enemies, I really have to admire you, said that man. They had just entered from the entrance and so had blocked the only exit for Long Chen. The people standing beside him looked in shock at the broken weapons and bodies on the ground. Although they hadn't seen the battle, just the remnants and the leftover heavenly day auras in the air were enough for them to tell the scope of the previous battle. You are Zuyu. Long Chen slowly stood up. In truth, he was extremely alarmed. Just now, he had checked what had injured him. It had just been the wind from a pointing of Zuyu's finger. It was an incredibly ordinary attack but was able to pierce his body. Although he was weakened and couldn't use the divine ring or four-star battle armor any longer. His physical body was still comparable to enchanted items, but the wind from a finger attack could injure him. That was enough to prove that Zuyu's power was much greater than he had expected. Correct. I am Zuyu. I've long since heard your great name, but regretfully, you're currently under the Ghost Devourer's spirit curse and are in an extremely weak state. You don't even have half of your power available to you. Killing you is too boring, said Zuyu. If you want a fair fight, you can just give me the antidote, said Long Chen. Zhu Yu shook his head. Firstly, the ghost devourer's spirit is not a poison, but a curse. There is no antidote. If you want to resolve it, you simply need to wait for its effect to pass. But although this curse won't take a person's life, it has a long period of effect. It would take at least seven days, and I can't wait that long. And secondly, although you're strong, you haven't reached the point where you can stand on the same level as me. Even if you were in your peak state, you wouldn't be able to receive even 10 attacks from me. It's not worth it for me to wait. So, I'm very sorry to tell you that you're just a dog in my eyes, and you don't have much value at all. Only the fact that you're first on the must-kill list makes you worthy of me killing you. Zhu Yu stood with his hands clasped behind his back, his expression indifferent, and his tone incredibly arrogant. It was like he was a king looking down on a beggar. Although his words were a bit malicious, Long Chen didn't get angry. That was because he didn't have time to get angry. This ghost devourer's spirit curse was too vicious. It was like poison had spread throughout his blood, bones, and basically every single cell in his body. He had tried to use the primal chaos space's life energy to heal it, but he had found that it was useless. He was now in a great crisis. This man in front of him was extremely powerful. If Long Chen was in his peak state, he wouldn't be afraid of him. Although he was a very strong rank 3 celestial, Long Chen's confidence was that as long as it was someone in the same realm, he wouldn't need to be afraid of them. Sorry, but my time is precious. I don't have time for you to feel terror or panic. Your physical body's not bad, so you can be refined into a puppet. To be my puppet is your life's greatest glory. Zhu Yu reached his hand toward Long Chen's throat. Although it was just a simple movement, it blocked every single path of retreat for Long Chen. 
Just this random movement clearly showed how much experience he had. This move had clearly reached the point of perfection and had no openings. It could be seen that Zhu Yu's fame was not unearned. He was a true expert who had experienced hundreds of battles. Long Chen's San Mateo came out of its sheath, directly slashing toward Zhu Yu's wrist. His placement and timing were perfect. Even if Zhu Yu dodged, he wouldn't be able to escape the range of the saber. But if he forced his way through, he would lose the exchange. The reason he hadn't released his heavenly Dao runes or even his aura was because he wanted to capture Long Chen with technique. He had his own pride, and even if he had to kill a weakened Long Chen, he would disdain using his aura to suppress him. Oh, Zhu Yu was a bit surprised. He hadn't expected that Long Chen's saber techniques would be so refined. He could tell that Long Chen also hadn't released his aura and was competing with him in terms of pure technique. Zhu Yu's palm bent slightly, and the instant his wrist was about to touch the saber, he strangely used his finger to flick the back of the saber and direct its slash elsewhere. Just like that, he managed to escape the blockade of the saber and continued reaching toward Long Chen's throat. But just when he thought that Long Chen would have no time to change his move, Long Chen's saber borrowed the rebound strength to slash toward Zhu Yu's throat. He also hadn't released his aura. In fact, he hadn't used his spiritual yuan. Zhu Yu was now truly startled. He shot backward, dodging the saber. His movement technique was incredibly bizarre. He had only just dodged Long Chen's slash when the tip of the saber pierced toward his throat. He was shocked, not expecting that Long Chen's slash was actually a feint. The instant he dodged it, Long Chen changed his slash into a thrust. Zhu Yu slammed his palm into Long Chen's saber, knocking it out of his hand. Shattering it, the San Mateo was widely known for the sharpness of its point. It was actually somewhat similar to a sword and relied more on agility. Zhu Yu had struck it in its weakest spot, and after all, it was just an enchanted item. Thus, it instantly shattered. Long Chen was forced back a dozen steps. Not far behind him was the wall, but he looked disdainfully at Zhu Yu, looking at his own palm. Zhu Yu was infuriated. In terms of technique, he had lost. If he hadn't used his spiritual yuan in the end, he would have been injured. This was a humiliation that he couldn't accept. As expected, you really didn't last 10 moves. Long Chen smiled lightly. He had to admit that Zhu Yu was a terrifying expert. But when it came to combat experience, no one had more than him. His combat experience was something he had accumulated through risking his life. Even though the corrupt path was famed for their viciousness. Long Chen didn't believe that they would really throw their geniuses into crisis after crisis and have them either survive on their own or perish. Who cared if they were talented? He had trampled countless geniuses on his path. He had paid far more than anyone. Was the smooth and level path of a genius so amazing? Long Chen's words were a slap in Zhu Yu's face. He had previously said that Long Chen wouldn't even be able to last 10 moves against him even in his peak state. But now... Long Chen had forced him to use his spiritual yuan in just three moves. It could already be called his loss. TCH. Hopefully you can still say such things once I draw out your soul. Departed spirit restriction. Countless blood-colored runes lit up on Zhu Yu's hands. The entire space was covered with his runes. And a terrifying pressure descended. It was like space was about to be compressed. This should be something similar to a spatial magical art. Long Chen's heart shook. As expected. Zhu Yu was incredibly powerful. He was actually able to use spatial strength, but he didn't have the time to be shocked. As those runes compressed, the space around him also compressed. Soon, he wouldn't even be able to move. Double Dragon Destruction. At this moment, he was incredibly weak. His only abilities unaffected by the curse were Huo Long and Lai Long's combined attack. Heaven Netherworld Divine Shield. Sensing the aura of the two dragons, Zhu Yu was startled. He could no longer continue compressing space, and a blood red shield appeared in front of him. Boom. This was a world rocking collision. The entire cave shuddered and almost collapsed. When the dust finally scattered, the corrupt experts were all dumbfounded. Chapter 783 Peak Trial Cave Translator. Born to be the dust scattered, revealing that Long Chen had already disappeared. They were all stunned. There was only one entrance to this place, and they had completely sealed it. Not even a fly could have gotten past them. He entered a trial cave. Zhu Yu looked towards one cave. He sensed the slightest bit of leftover aura there. That aura contained the ghost devourer's spirit's curse energy. He entered a trial cave? Heavens. He entered the peak trial cave. That's somewhere even you can't enter. Cried one of the corrupt experts. My guess is that he doesn't even recognize the immortal characters on top of the caves. There were two low-level trials. 
three middle-level trials, two high-level trials, and only one peak-level trial, but he actually chose the peak one, HMPH, he's definitely dead, said another corrupt expert, even the sect master solemnly warned you to only choose the high-level trial, as for the peak-level trial, Long Chen has zero chance of surviving, how regretful, his body and soul were wasted just like that, and without his head, there's no way to exchange it for a reward, sighed another one, they all looked at Zhu Yu as he was their leader, now that Long Chen had entered a trial cave, he would be the one to decide what they should do, Zhu Yu said, these trial caves flowed down from antiquity, the outside looks broken, but there are still treasures inside, two generations ago, one of our seniors found a divine elixir within the lower level trial, when he brought it back, the elders appraised it and said that it was an extremely famous divine mortal molting elixir. This elixir was something created through formations that drew out the most primal energy in the ground. A single drop of that divine elixir was diluted a thousand times and then given to ordinary disciples. Those ordinary disciples then completely transformed. Not only did their strength grow, but their talent also improved. Their spirit roots also advanced a level. You were just ordinary celestials before but your foundations were excellent, so you were bestowed with a bottle of that diluted divine elixir, that's the only reason you managed to become ranked 2 celestials, this divine mortal molting elixir is our secret, the senior from 2 generations ago only found this place by accident, he was fighting here, which destroyed some of the terrains and revealed this entrance, that senior was only an ordinary celestial, but his luck was good and he entered a low level cave, when he left, he marked down this place and also copied the immortal characters here. Back then, our entire eastern wasteland's corrupt path was shaken. The next time the immemorial path opened, we sent 18 of our strongest disciples here. They were all at least ranked 2 celestials, and 2 had reached the 3rd rank. As a result, only one disciple managed to survive, and that was because he entered the wrong cave. He entered the low-level cave beside the middle-level one. Thus, he was the only one who managed to bring back some divine mortal molting elixir. The others all died inside. The trial caves are filled with multiple mechanisms. And the final test is a fierce beast. According to the elders, those beasts should be nourished by some special formation that makes their longevity almost limitless. After the immemorial path was destroyed, no one looked after them. And so they managed to break past their original limits to become even more powerful. To be safe. You should all choose the low-level trial caves. They had already figured out that once you entered, you couldn't leave. If you tried, a powerful force would block it. If you pushed it, you would be injured by that mysterious force, and you could even die. The corrupt path's elders guessed that even though there was no one looking after these trial caves anymore, a portion of the formations inside must still be functional and in use. Furthermore, once they entered from their current location, each trial cave would be split into another eight caves. They were also split into two low level, three middle level, two high level, and one peak level trail. You could choose the difficulty most accustomed to you. Each of these trial caves only permitted two disciples to enter. In a bit, there should still be some more people coming. Two of you stay behind and guard the entrance. As soon as any outsiders come, kill them. This trial region can't be allowed to be leaked. This place isn't too far from the entrance of the immemorial path, and too many people came this time so some people will likely show up. Furthermore, I saw the blood kill hall's insignia on one of the corpse's robes. Those fellows are a bunch of irritating hyenas. They can follow people's auras, and their concealing arts are too strong. If you notice any of them, you have to immediately kill them. This matter concerns the prosperity of the corrupt path, so don't get careless, warned Zhu Yu solemnly. This trial region was first noticed by the corrupt path. If they could keep it secret, it would bring unimaginable benefits to the corrupt path. Yes, several of them hastily assented. They were all people that had followed Zhu Yu for a long time, and they were powerful rank 2 celestials. Zhu Yu also treated them as loyal followers to be raised. He often gave them pointers. It could be said that they were peak existences amongst rank 2 celestials. Which one are you going to choose? Asked one of them. Zhu Yu looked at the peak trial cave. His heart was moved slightly, but he shook his head in the end. I'll be choosing the high level cave. The trial caves here were very strange because a person could only enter once. Even if you succeeded, you would be forced back if you tried to enter another trial cave. That was this place's law. In other words, Zhu Yu would only have one chance, but he still suppressed his desire and entered the high level cave. Let's go. Leaving behind two people is enough. 
Once the others arrive, you can also enter. Zhu Yu waved his hand and entered the cave beside the one Long Chen had entered. The others went directly for the two low-level caves. Once Long Chen entered the cave, he immediately found that something was wrong. The space behind him had been completely sealed. With each step he took, the space behind him would become untraversable. There was no way for him to retreat. Right now, he was under a curse, and his body was extremely weak. His current combat ability was less than half of his peak state. Against someone like Zhu Yu, he had no chance of winning. All he hoped was to stall long enough for the curse to dissipate. Then once he had recovered, he could have an all-out fight against Zhu Yu. Zhu Yu might be strong, but Long Chen wasn't afraid. In fact, he made him feel intense battle intent. He was looking forward to having a real fight with a real expert. He knew that Zhu Yu's power was beyond his current comprehension. The blood red runes he had released weren't heavenly Dao runes, but some magical art. It was usually only the sea expansion experts that could use magical arts. That was something related to the amount of spiritual yuan a person could use. Only once the key sea spiritual yuan was plentiful enough could it keep up with the immense exhaustion of a magical art. But Zhu Yu was able to use a magical art so easily. At that time, he hadn't even released his manifestation. That magical art was an ordinary attack to him, but it had still forced Long Chen to the point of using the double dragon destruction. It was a good thing that Long Chen had improved upon the double dragon attack he had used in the Zhuanshan Dao sect back then. When Lai Long and Huo Long's bodies came out, they couldn't control their own power. Once they attacked, they would use up all the power they had. They were like spendthrifts, not holding back at all. Even if Long Chen only wanted them to kill a mosquito, they would release their full power. Although it was extremely powerful, it would use up all their accumulated power. It might be satisfying but he wouldn't be able to release a second attack for a while. Later, Long Chen had changed this attack. He sent a portion of his spiritual yuan into their energy so that he could control their power while their true bodies stayed in his body. It could be considered a joint attack between them. Although that kind of power wasn't equal to the full strength of their true bodies, it was already enough. Just the fact that it could kill a rank 3 celestial and 5 rank 2 celestial showed its power. Of course. The fact that this attack had managed to kill the rank 3 celestial was also lucky. It was because he had underestimated Long Chen, thinking that he wouldn't be able to release such an ultimate move while being in a cursed state. But the other 5 rank 2 celestials hadn't been careless. Even when using their full strength, they had been killed in one shot. It was because Long Chen had improved upon this attack that he had managed to escape with his life. Otherwise in his weakened state, he would have been powerless to resist Zhu Yu's magical art. However, after using the double dragon destruction twice, Long Chen found that with his current spiritual Yuan, he would barely be able to release the attack once more. Long Chen carefully advanced. The cave was completely straight, and the walls and floor were covered in runes. He tried punching it, but not even the slightest bit of dust fell. But that wasn't strange. The entire immemorial path had crumbled. The fact that this secret cave had been able to survive proved that it was extraordinary. Furthermore, they had fought so intensely within it. If it had been an ordinary mountain, it would have long since collapsed. He advanced slowly. This cave gave him a feeling of immense pressure. Although he didn't feel any danger yet, he definitely wasn't feeling anything to be happy about. After an incense stick's worth of time, the path diverged into eight. Long Chen was startled. He looked around and decided on one path randomly. What he didn't realize was that the immortal character above the path he chose was the same as the one above the trial cave he had entered. Chapter 784 What the fuck translator? Born to be as soon as he went through that path, he saw his surroundings grow brighter. Long Chen was delighted. Had he reached the exit? For there to be light ahead was a good thing. But when Long Chen reached a spacious region, his hair suddenly stood on end. This was a large room over a mile long. It was practically a plaza but filled with golden boulders. Those boulders were covered in decorative designs, each of which was dozens of meters. In truth, those designs were strange runes. Below each of the boulders were eight long, furry legs. When Long Chen appeared, the boulders suddenly shivered. Long Chen felt his scalp go numb, and goosebumps covered him from head to toe. Hidden ground gold spiders. Long Chen thought of a book that Men Qi had given him. That book had been called A Record of Ancient Magical Beasts. Looking at the spiders' bodies that were sparkling like gold. He recalled a terrifying magical beast recorded within it. The hidden ground spider was its descendant. Its bloodline stretched back so far that it was impossible to trace. 
Looking at these hidden ground gold spider size and runic fluctuations, it was possible to see that they had reached the sixth rank. Long Chen did a quick count and found over 30 of them. They now slowly got up and began to come toward Long Chen. Their fierce mouths were quivering, secreting golden liquid. That liquid was poison. It didn't even need to be injected into the body. As long as you came into contact with it, your body would rapidly corrode. Long Chen instinctively took a step back, but a strange energy suddenly pushed him forward. Suddenly, one of the hidden ground gold spiders shot toward Long Chen. Long Chen randomly took out a spear from his spatial ring. That was a middle grade enchanted item. Currently, he could only use it. It was a good thing that it was heavy enough. He smashed it onto the spider's head. Boom. But Long Chen was startled to see sparks fly. Although the spider was blown back, it wasn't killed. Furthermore, he felt his own hands go a bit numb. A sixth rank magical beast was only at the Xianchen realm. In the outside world, Long Chen could kill them with a wave of his hand. But now, a full strength blow was unable to even injure one. Although he was under a curse. The main reason was that the hidden ground gold spider was an ancient variant. This result shocked Long Chen. This meant that these hidden ground gold spiders could all be compared to rank 2 celestials. Was that supposed to mean that the ancient geniuses had been strong enough to completely dominate all these beasts? What Long Chen didn't know was that the trials here all had formations present. If the formations had remained in perfect condition, there would have only been one magical beast here. But as time passed, the formations had slowly weakened. The loss here still prevented them from leaving, but they had begun to reproduce in large numbers. Furthermore, they possessed incredible longevity. Normally, they were in a state similar to hibernation, and so they used up very little energy. They could entirely rely on the energy coming from the formations to survive forever. There was no way to retreat. Long Chen could only clench his teeth and fight. Forcing back three spiders at once, Long Chen felt his arms ache. His spear almost left his grasp. This was because he was under the curse. The more power he used, the weaker he would feel. He was immediately caught in a crisis. Long Chen continued to fight with his full strength. But one spider's leg still pierced his shoulder. Their fur was like steel. And even his powerful physical body wasn't able to resist. A bloody hole was opened in his shoulder. A disgusting stench immediately began to come out of the injury. What a vicious poison. Long Chen's heart shook. He hastily circulated the primal chaos space. He drew out the life energy within the huge trees from the spirit world, and his injury instantly healed. He was startled. These strange trees were truly powerful. They were able to instantly heal him and remove the poison. Furthermore, it hadn't taken any effort at all to heal such an injury, and he found that these trees didn't have any spiritual fluctuations. They were completely different from the one he had encountered in the spirit world. Although their shape was the exact same, they didn't possess any consciousness nor did they possess such a fiendish air. They were no different from ordinary trees. Boom. After repeatedly blocking them, Long Chen finally couldn't endure any longer. His spear was blown out of his hand. Long Chen cursed inside. If it weren't for this damn curse, he would have trampled over these spiders. Although each of them was comparable to a rank 2 celestial, they were nothing to him. Due to their size, he only had to handle three of them at a time. The other 30 of them would be unable to reach him. If he was in his peak condition, he could easily kill them one by one. But under this curse, he couldn't break their defenses. It was truly infuriating. In truth, magical beasts were similar to humans in that there were ordinary magical beasts. And there were elite magical beasts. Different bloodlines represented different levels of power. That was similar to the human race's celestials. Celestials could fight across realms against ordinary experts. Magical beasts were the same. Each one of these hidden ground gold spiders was capable of killing ordinary 7th rank magical beasts. Long Chen could be counted as an elite from the human race, but this group of hidden ground gold spiders could be considered elites amongst elites in the magical beast world. Their bloodlines were pure, and their defense was strong. Their combat power was absolutely monstrous. Dodging one of their fangs, Long Chen took a deep breath. His arms lit up. Lai Long, Huo Long, cut them down. Two roars erupted. Lai Long and Huo Long shot out of Long Chen's arms. This time, Long Chen had summoned their true bodies. A lightning dragon and a flame dragon burst their way through the pack of spiders. The entire plaza was enveloped by flames and lightning. With Long Chen's encouragement, Lai Long and Huo Long released all their power, slaughtering every single hidden ground gold spider. Those spiders let out terrified cries. A charred smell filled the air, one that would make a person vomit. 
Lai Long and Huo Long roared to their heart's content. Their huge bodies shot back and forth until all their energy was used up. Long Chen's order had been to not hold back. The two of them immediately released all their power crazily. Lai Long wreaked havoc. Brilliant lightning surged out of it as it moved. Those spiders instantly turned numb and paralyzed when it touched them. The runes on their golden bodies were actually able to resist a portion of the thunder force, and they weren't immediately killed. But Huo Long was different. Earth flames were the spiritual treasures of heaven and earth, and they were the bane of all creatures. The hidden ground gold spiders let out berserk cries as they were instantly ignited. Their bodies were covered in fur, and that fur was instantly turned to ash. Their huge bodies also began to combust. Compared to Huo Long, Lai Long was unable to break through their defenses. Earth flames were born from the land and capable of burning all things. They were innately an existence that could destroy anything. That was a bit different from the nature of lightning. The hidden ground gold spider's runes were able to block a portion of the thunder force, but they were unable to block an earth flame's ability to ignite all things. With Lai Long paralyzing them, they were unable to resist or even flee. The large plaza was filled with white smoke. Long Chen almost collapsed from the smell. The smoke contained poison. Even with the primal chaos beads antitoxin abilities, he still felt extremely unwell. He hastily consumed an antitoxin pill to relieve that feeling. His nose was filled with the scent of the medicinal pill, which blocked quite a bit of the stench. Lai Long and Huo Long wreaked havoc for a full incense stick's worth of time. The only things left in this plaza were chaired corpses. They had all been killed. The thing that made Long Chen laugh and cry at the same time was that those two fellows seemed like they hadn't gotten to vent their emotions in a long time. Despite the fact that all their enemies had been killed, they didn't stop. If Long Chen hadn't summoned them back, they would have continued. Those two seemed like children who hadn't played enough. But Long Chen could sense that they definitely had gone overboard. Their energy had already reached rock bottom, and they were beginning to overdraft their energy. They really didn't know what moderation meant. Prying open one of the spider's heads, he found a dazzling, almost golden crystal core. He, this is a treasure. Although its body was huge, its crystal core was only the size of a baby's fist. This was the place where all its essence was gathered, an endless source of dark energy. Whether it was for alchemy or forging, it would be a peak treasure. The dark attribute was extremely rare. Added to a weapon, it could make it harder to notice and give it a corrosive effect. Most importantly, if this crystal core was imbued to a weapon, it could give it the ability to cut through the air without any sound. You would be able to kill someone without them even noticing. If Guo Ran saw it, he would definitely jump in excitement. It was regretful that their poisonous fangs had lost their toxicity after being burned by the earth flame. The poison would no longer possess a great threat to experts, so he could only give up on it. Long Chen obtained 33 crystal cores. That was quite the harvest. He was just about to continue moving forward when the ground beneath him trembled. The ground began to bulge and then erupted. An enormous figure appeared in front of Long Chen. What the fuck? Chapter 785 Peak Grade Divine Mortal Molting Elixir Translator Born to be when that huge figure appeared, the rest of the ground began to sink, increasing the space. But that large figure continued to take up more and more of it. The huge room was completely filled by it. Compared to it, Long Chen was just an ant. It was a huge hidden ground gold spider. Its skin was actually covered in scales, and each scale contained a rune. It looked as if it had been made of gold. As soon as this huge spider appeared, it began to shrink. It shrank to the point that it was only three meters tall. Its two golden eyes stared closely at Long Chen, giving him goosebumps. This is absolutely impossible. Long Chen roared inside. This was a seventh tier magical beast, and one on the level of a beast king. It could be compared to the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Let alone now, even in his peak state, he wouldn't be a match for this hidden ground gold spider king. Long Chen's luck really was lacking. This trial cave was just the first level of trials for the ancient disciples. Thus, its difficulty wasn't actually too high. The strongest guard of this place was originally just an early 7th rank magical beast. But with the crumbling of the immemorial path, there was no one to look over this place. That magical beast had actually begun to reproduce on its own. Originally, with the laws of this place, it would be unable to continue cultivating. The early 7th rank was its absolute limit. But its children also then began to grow and reproduce. This spider king was one of those descendants. Because of the laws and the formations present, they wouldn't starve to death. Although their cultivation speed would be lowered, they could still grow. As for this spider king, 
it had actually raised its own children and then consumed them once they got strong enough. With this kind of assimilation method, it managed to break the restrictions of this place. After all these years, it had reached the peak of the seventh rank. If it weren't for this cave's suppression, it could have even broken through to the eighth rank. This kind of ancient breed was extremely terrifying, and their growth limit was extremely high. As long as it was given enough time, it could even break through to the ninth rank. But after reaching the peak of the seventh rank, this spider king had stopped consuming its children and begun cultivating underground. Now, Long Chen had awoken it. As soon as it appeared, it charged at him. Long Chen was appalled. In his current state, not even a hundred lives would be enough to go against this fellow, which could be even more powerful than the Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. Don't move, shouted Long Chen. The Spider King was actually extremely obedient and instantly stopped moving. It glared at Long Chen, not daring to move. To be more accurate, it was staring at the fist-sized scale that Long Chen was holding. It was clearly extremely apprehensive toward it. Let me tell you, my status is incredibly high, and if you're smart, you'll immediately leave while you can. I don't want to have you as a steed, shouted Long Chen. Long Chen was holding the dragon scale, but he wasn't releasing the dragon might. It wasn't that he didn't want to, but that he didn't dare to. Last time, he had exhausted all the non-core energy within it. If he activated the dragon might again, it would exhaust its core energy, and that might cause the purity of the essence blood within it to drop. If that affected his ability to cultivate the dragon blood body tempering art, he wouldn't even have a place to cry. Even facing that many hidden ground gold spiders, he still hadn't activated the dragon might, all because he couldn't bear the consequences. But in front of this spider king, he had no other choice. However, he didn't activate the dragon might. He wanted to see if he could scare it away first. He trusted that if he did activate the dragon might, he could subdue it into a houseboat. Although that thought was enticing, it wasn't worth it. His intuition told him that what the dragon expert had left him was definitely a priceless treasure. He couldn't take any chances with it. Unless it was an absolute last resort, Long Chen wouldn't activate the dragon might. But Long Chen was surprised to see the Spider King was actually quite smart. It didn't dare to move. Get back. Get back. Don't infuriate me. Let me tell you. If I get angry, I'll even beat myself. Long Chen slowly began to walk forward while holding the dragon scale. The Spider King was extremely apprehensive toward the dragon scale. As Long Chen advanced, it retreated. Long Chen was delighted. It was working. He didn't go too far against the Spider King. He slowly detoured around it, but he continued to face the Spider King. On guard against any sudden attack, the Spider King just watched as it allowed Long Chen to go past it. It didn't attack. It was clearly too afraid of the dragon scale. Once Long Chen got to the end of the room, a light barrier appeared in front of him, with no other choice. He could only choose to enter that light. What Long Chen didn't expect was that this light barrier was no transportation formation. It was just ordinary light that seemed to be acting like a door. Once he was through that door, he saw a pool in front of him. The pool was 30 meters wide, and the water had practically reached the limit. Any more and it would begin to overflow. Above the pool was a stalactite. Just as he entered, he saw a drop of liquid drip from the stalactite and into the pool. He saw runes on the roof, and he could clearly sense some strange energy condensing at the stalactite. Fragrance cleared his mind as soon as he entered. Even with the curse, he felt relaxed. Long Chen slowly walked over to the pool. Looking away, he saw that this was truly the end of the cave. This pool should be the final reward. Am I supposed to take a bath here? This water should be extraordinary. Perhaps I'll gain some unimaginable benefits from bathing in it. Long Chen didn't think too much about it. He took off his clothes and was just about to step in when he paused. He had just noticed a cup at the bottom of the pool. It was half a foot tall, and it was perfectly below the stalactite. Could it be that this water isn't to be bathed in, but to be drunk? Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. In truth, this water that Long Chen was seeing was the divine mortal molting elixir. Furthermore, it was the highest grade of it. This divine mortal molting elixir was a priceless treasure for Xi'anshan disciples. The Xi'anshan realm was fundamentally the foundation of transforming a Haoshan body into a Xi'anshan body. During this process, a person's spiritual key was transformed into spiritual yuan, and the body's impurities were expelled. It was a complete transformation. But this process was not so easy. Relying purely on your own power, it would be impossible to accomplish it perfectly. In the end, Quite a few impurities would remain within your body, 
and that would affect your future cultivation. This divine mortal molting elixir was created through a formation that extracted the most primal energy in the ground. It allowed a person to completely purify their bodies, allowing their physical bodies to reach a flawless level. Only when the body was flawless would the world's Zyantian spiritual key be able to enter without any hindrances. Ordinary divine mortal molting elixir could cleanse a person's body and allow them to sense the heavenly deos better. Many of the corrupt paths rank 2 celestials had actually been rank 1 celestials that had advanced through the use of the elixir. As for the elixir in front of him, it was peak grade divine mortal molting elixir. It was different from the elixirs in the other caves. This peak grade elixir would be counted as a priceless treasure even in ancient times. It took several months to gather a single drop. The other caves had a bowl at the end as their final reward. When that bowl was filled, the elixir would flow down to the earth and return to its source. But this peak grade elixir was too precious. And so, back in that era, if no one passed the peak trial for too long, they would gather the elixir and leave behind only the cup. In other words, a person would only be able to obtain a cup after passing. The pool of elixir here had been accumulating for countless years. It had filled up the entire pool, which was what had caused Long Chen to assume this place was for bathing. If those ancient experts learned about this, then even dead, they would roll in their graves and curse him. Long Chen carefully took out a drop and swallowed it. As soon as it entered his mouth, he found that it didn't go through his throat but actually spread throughout his body. As it spread, he felt a refreshing feeling. Wherever the elixir passed, impurities would be forced out of his pores. Long Chen was delighted. He hastily took out a bowl and drank a dozen bowls in one go. That refreshing feeling completely filled him. He felt so relaxed that he might melt. After just a bit, impurities covered his entire body. They were disgusting, but they delighted Long Chen. This liquid was absolutely miraculous. His body had gone through the cleansing of heavenly tribulation. He had thought there were already no more impurities for him to expel. But now these many impurities were forced out. That was absolutely divine. But then, later Long Chen realized that these impurities were very likely the accumulated pill toxins from consuming too many pills. After all, even with his special constitution, he really had consumed a ridiculous amount of pills. Long Chen was delighted. This liquid was an absolute treasure, and he hastily began to pour it into some wooden buckets. This kind of liquid definitely couldn't touch metal, or it would lose its effect. He filled over a hundred barrels, not even leaving a single drop. It was fortunate he had enough wooden barrels that he normally used to store some medicinal liquids. Only then did Long Chen sit, completely satisfied. A dozen bowls had completely expelled all his impurities. He felt incredibly refreshed, and when he drank another few bowls, he found that there was no longer any effect. That meant his body had truly reached its peak. Boom. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from his body. His powerful aura shook the cave. He had actually advanced to the 10th heaven stage. As expected, there really are 13 levels for each realm. Long Chen muttered to himself. The only thing that made him dejected was whether it was this divine elixir or his advancement. Neither had allowed him to break free from his curse. He didn't feel like he was surging with energy because of his advancement. I wonder whether those fellows have scrammed yet. I'll go take a look. Long Chen looked around and saw there was no exit or transportation gate. He could only return by his original path. Chapter 786 Conning People Translator Born to be when he left the Barrier of Light The first thing he saw was the hidden ground gold spider king. It immediately raised its guard and glared at Long Chen. Long Chen once more took out his credentials. The dragon scale was his credentials that said he could pass. As expected, the spider king immediately tensed and retreated. It was too afraid of the dragon scale. Long Chen laughed mischievously. This protective talisman felt too amazing. He slowly went around the spider king. When he reached the tunnel, he found that the strange energy that had prevented him from going back had disappeared. In other words, he could return. In truth, Long Chen didn't know that as soon as he had entered the place with the final reward, the formations present had acknowledged it as a pass. However, normally, those who passed had either killed the defending magical beast or gone through other mechanisms. There definitely hadn't been anyone who had passed like he had. He carefully walked out. Once he was about to reach the exit, he suddenly heard voices and stopped. As expected of Lord Zuyu, you actually managed to pass the high-level trial and bring back high-grade divine mortal molting elixir, praised a corrupt expert. It's just regretful that there wasn't too much of it. The rest of it flowed underground. But at least I almost got a thousand drops. That harvest really is great. 
Zhu Yu's voice floated out. A thousand drops? That counts as a great harvest? Can your thousand drops compare to my hundred barrels? Long Chen sneered inside. But his sneer also contained envy. He didn't know that what he had was peak grade divine mortal molting elixir. Did you run into any dangers inside? It really was dangerous. There was an early 7th rank magical beast hiding inside. A bloodthirst wolf. It was restricted by my magical arts. But I still suffered a slight injury before cutting it down. Said Zhu Yu. Long Chen was startled. As expected, Zhu Yu was extremely powerful. That bloodthirst wolf was also an ancient breed that was extremely powerful. It just hadn't reached the level of the hidden ground gold spider king or the Riday sacred blood phoenix. However, to be able to kill it in exchange for just a slight injury was extremely impressive. What about you? Asked Zhu Yu. Only seven people managed to return from over ten people. Some people came in later and entered the middle grade trial, but none of them returned alive. That's fine. Life and death are up to fate. If they didn't survive, that just means their lives weren't hardy enough, said Zhu Yu. That Long Chen entered the peak trial cave. He should have long since died. What should we do? Long Chen's eyes enlarged. Only now did he realize he had entered the peak trial cave. No wonder there had been a peak 7th rank magical beast waiting for him. Thinking of his luck, he had an urge to curse the heavens. But then thinking about it, he couldn't be mad. If he hadn't entered that trial of absolute death, how could he have obtained that much divine mortal molting elixir? We can all rest for a bit. Protect me while I try out the high-grade divine mortal molting elixir. I want to see if I can break through the barrier and reach the fourth rank. HMPH. If I could become a rank 4 celestial, the eastern wasteland's righteous path will be turned into a river of blood, said Zhu Yu grandly. Then the sound of a bottle opening rang out. Long Chen wasn't able to see anything, and he also didn't dare to use his divine sense. But he knew this bastard should be drinking the divine mortal molting elixir. Long Chen wasn't a celestial, and so he hadn't realized that it was so helpful to celestials. But hearing that Zhu Yu wanted to use it to advance to the fourth rank, he jumped. All right, let me help you. Long Chen smiled coldly. Even in his current state, he definitely couldn't allow him to do as he pleased. That wasn't his style. This was the most sullen he had ever felt. This curse made Long Chen feel like he was impotent. It was like he had the energy but not the means. He clearly thirsted for a battle but couldn't. Now seeing Zhu Yu want to break through here, if Long Chen didn't give him a little gift, would he still be Long Chen? Long Chen turned back. When he reached the fork, he actually realized he had forgotten which path he had gone into. He had to rely on scent to find his original path. He quickly found the hidden ground gold spider king. Brother, let's go. Your big bro will bring you for a stroll. Long Chen took out the dragon scale and began to walk toward the spider king. The Spider King was a bit confused to see Long Chen come and go like this. Having been isolated here for so long, its intelligence couldn't possibly be much higher than the other spiders. But that fear toward the dragon scale was something instinctual from its very core. Long Chen began to urge it toward the exit. It retreated in that direction, and it also raised its two front legs, taking on an attacking posture. But Long Chen ignored that. Such a low intelligent magical beast would immediately attack if it really meant it. For it to take on an attacking posture just meant it was afraid and wanted to intimidate him. At this time, Long Chen stopped moving. If you got too close, a magical beast would think you were launching an attack. It would definitely attack him then. And Long Chen didn't want that. As expected, when Long Chen stopped moving, the spider began to retreat. Long Chen slowly advanced. As a result, it slowly retreated out of the exit. It was just that the process was extremely slow. All right, guard me. I'll begin refining the divine mortal molting elixir, said Zhu Yu solemnly. Yes, don't worry. Currently, the only ones in that large room were the seven rank two celestials and Zhu Yu. There were also two others hidden by the entrance. Their mission from the very start had been to guard this place. If anyone entered, they would immediately kill them. Zhu Yu nodded. With seven rank two celestials here and two rank two celestials guarding the entrance, there definitely wouldn't be anyone to disturb him. Zhu Yu consumed half of the high-grade divine mortal molting elixir he had obtained, maintaining a hand seal. He was just about to enter a meditative state when the sound of movements came from one of the caves. A three-meter spider retreated out of that cave. It looked as if it had been made of gold. Hidden ground gold spider? It's actually so small. One of the rank two celestials directly unsheathed their sword, and sword key slashed at the spider. This attack was extremely powerful. It could one-shot ordinary celestials. 
But when it landed on the spider's body, it didn't even leave a mark. Of course, this was the spider king that Long Chen had forced out. Its attention had been entirely focused on the dragon scale, and so it actually hadn't noticed them yet. But now that someone attacked it, it immediately went crazy. After being forced back by Long Chen repeatedly, it had long since reached its limit. However, it had always been too afraid of the dragon scale to attack. When that person saw that his attack hadn't caused any damage to the spider, he was appalled. Boom. The three meter spider king's body suddenly grew a thousand times. It was like a golden mountain, and one of its huge legs stabbed toward them. What? Even Zhu Yu's expression changed. Now that it had grown, it immediately released the aura of a peak 7th rank magical beast. In the cave, it had shrunk because it hadn't had enough room. Only once a magical beast had reached the peak of the 7th rank could it control the size of its body. Now, it no longer had any more misjivings. It would slaughter all these people that had angered it. Retreat, shouted Zuyu. They all rushed away, but one fellow was a bit too slow. There was no way for him to dodge, and with a roar, his runes erupted around him. He raised his weapon to block. Boom. That powerful rank 2 celestial was killed in one blow. Furthermore, the spider leg continued forward, piercing a large hole in the wall. How terrifying. Long Chen was hiding within the cave as he watched. The spider king had finally released its true power. A rank 2 celestial was like an ant in front of it. Seeing them fleeing in such a panic was truly satisfying. TCH. Zuyu. Didn't you want to bully me while I was cursed? And you still had to act like such a poser even more of a poser than me. Then, you shamelessly used power to suppress me. Now you should know what it feels like to be suppressed. Long Chen felt incredibly refreshed, even more refreshed than before. But although Zhu Yu was startled, he was still a peak expert. He immediately saw through the Spider King's power. The only thing he couldn't figure out was why it had appeared here. All of you get back. Don't fight it head on, Zhu Yu shouted, having the others retreat. He had already realized that other than him, no one else could even block a single attack from it. They would all die if this continued. However, before they could retreat, a huge net fell over their heads. That was naturally the Spider King's web. It was incredibly quick and came without any warning. Furthermore, its scope was too great. Even Zhu Yu was caught by it. Not good. Zhu Yu's expression suddenly changed. He was shocked to find that this web had a poisonous liquid dripping off it. He hastily formed a hand seal, and a ray of light shot out of his third eye. It pierced a hole through the web, and a pair of wings appeared on his back. He shot out of the opening. Ah, miserable screams rang out behind. When Zhu Yu looked back, his expression completely changed. Chapter 787 Yama King Blood Curse Translator Born to be the other corrupt experts instantly began to corrode upon coming in contact with the web. That corrosion speed was appalling. In an instant, half of their bodies disappeared. Hurry and activate the heavenly Dao recovery, roared Zhu Yu. We can't that guy died before being able to finish his sentence. His body had turned into a pile of rotten, liquefied flesh. Even his bones were like mud. Three others also collapsed in the same manner. They all died miserably under the web. The remaining people were pale. They hadn't touched the web with their weapons, which had allowed them to survive for the moment. The liquid on the web would automatically explode into poisonous mist when it suffered an attack. Previously, those people had all died to that poison. The ones still alive had formed a domain with their heavenly Dao runes to block the web, but they were still trapped. The web was rapidly compressing around them, and their domain was shrinking by the second. No need to be afraid. I'll save you. These people were Zhu Yu's subordinates, and he couldn't just watch as they died. His third eye once more lit up. His attack should be able to easily cut apart the net. What? But suddenly, space trembled. A sea of gold appeared in the air. The gold waves roiled tumultuously and came crashing toward Zhu Yu. He immediately turned pale. As for the hidden Long Chen, he also jumped in shock. That gold sea was actually a mass of fist-sized scales. The scales were octagonal and possessed strange lines on top of them. These were naturally the hidden ground gold spider king's scales. Those scales had originally been stuck to its body, so Long Chen had assumed they were its defensive armor. He had never expected that they could be used as an attack. Tens of thousands of scales left the Spider King's body and flew toward Zhu Yu and the others. Even space was being torn apart by this attack. Long Chen's hair stood on end. This attack covered all of heaven and earth. Thus, it was impossible to dodge, and Zhu Yu had to take it head on. Looking at those rapidly spinning scales, Long Chen knew that he would have to use the second form of split the heavens to block it. And even so, 
he knew that his chances of surviving wouldn't be high. Zhu Yu's expression changed several times. He could no longer bother about his trapped people. With a furious roar, three colored runes formed the face of a fierce fiend behind him. At the same time, a spot of light appeared within his third eye. Blood Devil Possession. Devil Eye destroys the world. The fiendish face behind Zhu Yu instantly merged within his body. His other eyes closed. Only his third eye remained open. A bloody light shot out. The light was incredibly bright. It released an incredibly destructive aura as it pierced toward the Spider King. Boom. The ray of light collided with the scales. The entire cave trembled intensely, and a portion of it began to collapse. Long Chen was startled. Zhu Yu's attack was definitely not any weaker than when he went all out using the second form of Split the Heavens. In fact, it might even be stronger. The Spider King let out a strange cry. It was sent flying and crashed into the wall. As for Zhu Yu, he was pale as paper. That was his strongest attack, but he had only been able to block a portion of the scales. The other corrupt experts had long since disappeared from this world. The thing that horrified Zhu Yu the most was those scales that had been struck by his attack. They hadn't been destroyed and they once more returned to the Spider King's back. Furthermore, his attack had merely left behind a faint mark on the Spider King's head. There was no injury at all. That made Zhu Yu's hair stand on end. The Spider King suddenly shrieked furiously. It had clearly reached a berserk point and was releasing all the sullenness Long Chen had given it onto Zhu Yu. Whether it was humans or magical beasts, they all liked crushing the weak. He, amazing, truly amazing. Long Chen cheered for Zhu Yu inside. His own sullenness at being cursed evaporated. Zhu Yu took a deep breath upon seeing that his attack hadn't caused the slightest injury to it. He knew that if this continued, he would definitely die. Ancestral heroic spirit, hear your descendants call. The bloodline stretches through eternity. The spirit reaches through time immemorial. Zhu Yu began to solemnly chant. Long Chen was startled. A blood red mist began to float out of Zhu Yu's body. Long Chen saw that the mist wasn't runes, but actual blood. Zhu Yu was actually sacrificing his essence blood to release a supreme attack. Following his chanting, the blood mist around him grew denser. In the end, it took on the image of a fiend. That was a 30 meter fiend with a horn on its head, red hair, and two black holes as eyes. Its mouth was holding a dagger, and it appeared incredibly lifelike. Long Chen had never seen such a thing before. Even Song Wu Ian's ancestral spirit had just been a blurry illusory figure. But this thing was like a real person. Long Chen could even feel a dense aura of death from its body. Yama King blood curse. Zhu Yu roared. The originally handsome Zhu Yu had now become like a desiccated corpse. It was like there wasn't the slightest drop of blood within him now. Following his shout, the fiend behind him extended its hand and cut off its own tongue. Black blood flowed out. Zhu Yu rapidly formed hand seals. That black blood formed an image filled with a dense aura of death. Long Chen felt an icy chill from head to toe. He had never seen such a terrifying attack. It wasn't just Long Chen. Even the Spider King began to shiver. It sensed an immense threat. Die, you monster. Zhu Yu roared furiously. With the final hand seal, the black image transformed into a ray of light. The Spider King hastily went to dodge the black light. But the black light seemed to have its own life. And no matter how it tried to dodge, it was still struck by the black light. The thing that Long Chen found bizarre was that the black light instantly shattered upon striking the Spider King's head. There wasn't any damage or shock waves. But the Spider King began to crazily shriek. Its legs were in a panic. The ground was being heavily damaged. And the cave was shaking. Long Chen was really worried the cave would collapse. Because the cave had runes supporting it. It was extremely sturdy. But if it really did collapse and he was buried down here. Perhaps he really would only be able to wait for death. The Spider King struggled a few more times then its body suddenly went still. Long Chen was horrified to find that it was already dead. That was too terrifying. That was a peak 7th rank magical beast. Even if its head was smashed. It wouldn't die just like this. Fuck. It's another damnable curse. Long Chen immediately realized that this was a death curse. It was different from the weakening curse he was under. Even a peak 7th rank magical beast's immense vitality was unable to block this curse. Then just who would be able to block it? Thinking of that, Long Chen's scalp turned numb. This kind of attack was too terrifying. It was a good thing that using this curse took a long time. Thus, it would be easy to interrupt it or run. Otherwise, if he saw Zhu Yu in the future, he would have to flee as far as possible. Zhu Yu was panting heavily. At this time, two people rapidly approached him. Lord Zhu Yu, are you alright? Those two corrupt experts were the ones sent to guard the entrance. 
They were guarding against people who locked their way here, and so they had managed to escape the disaster. Everything had happened too quickly. By the time they arrived, everything was over. Anyway, a battle of this level wasn't something they could participate in. I'm fine, said Zuyu. However, that was clearly not true. His face looked so pale that he seemed dead. That Yama King blood curse had obviously come at an immense price. Even his third eye was tightly closed with blood dripping out of it. One of the corrupt disciples hastily handed him a handkerchief. Zhu Yu took it and wiped away the blood. My devil I received a backlash from using the Yama King blood curse. But having killed an ancient hidden ground gold spider king, it's worth it. Its crystal core is a priceless treasure and can be embedded into a treasure item to increase its grade. Furthermore, its scales are natural enchanted items with innate runes. Even if you aren't a soul cultivator, you would be able to use them. You too can also keep a few for yourself. Many thanks. Those two corrupt experts were delighted as material for enchanted items was rare. These scales were definitely priceless treasures. The others all dead. It can only be said that their lives weren't hardy enough. Luck is also a kind of strength. When you follow me in the future, I definitely won't let you lose out, said Zuyu. Now that his subordinates had mostly died, he needed to raise a new batch of them. These two were not his subordinates, but they were also from the corrupt path. Hearing this, the two of them went wild with delight. Following an expert with limitless potential, they would definitely be able to walk further as well. After saying that, Zhu Yu walked over to the Spider King's corpse. He had only just reached it when a sharp light pierced toward his back. A sharp blade pierced a chest. An immense power caused that flesh to explode. Chapter 788 A Fair Fight Translator Born to be long before Zhu Yu had killed the Spider King, Long Chen had made his preparations. He had stealthily crept below the spider's fangs. His guess was that Zhu Yu would first go to extract the crystal core. A peak 7th rank magical beast's corpse wasn't something that just any spatial ring could store. That was especially true with the scales on its back. Those had runes on them that made them natural soul items. They would need spatial rings at least on the soul item level to store them. But those kinds of spatial rings were exceedingly rare. Soul items were usually only used by soul cultivators. And soul cultivators had their own spiritual spaces for those items. Then they could directly bring them out in battle. And when not in battle, they could nourish them with their souls. As expected, Long Chen's guess was right. Zhu Yu went directly to the Spider King's head. Long Chen hid his aura as much as possible and stealthily attacked Zhu Yu from behind. In order to conceal his killing intent, Long Chen had self-hypnotized himself, making him think that he wasn't killing someone, but simply stabbing the air. This was Long Chen's first time being an amateur assassin. Everything had gone so perfectly, but when the tip of his blade was three inches from Zhu Yu's back, he failed. Zhu Yu had sensed him. In that instant when Zhu Yu sensed him, Long Chen didn't hesitate. His blade was like lightning, piercing into his body. When it stabbed into his chest, he didn't hold back his power. His energy erupted. Blood splashed. But what startled Long Chen was that despite him clearly stabbing Zhu Yu, when his blade pierced the body, Zhu Yu's body had strangely switched with one of the other corrupt disciples. The person Long Chen killed in the end was just a rank 2 celestial, and the true Zhu Yu had appeared where he had been. He glared at Long Chen with fury and shock. Long Chen, you're not dead. His response was a saber that was still covered in blood. The other corrupt disciple hastily attacked Long Chen. He knew that Zhu Yu was in an extremely weak state, and he needed to protect him. Long Chen's saber instantly exploded upon colliding with the corrupt expert's weapon. That saber had just been an ordinary weapon. Enchanted items innately possessed their own murderous aura. He didn't know how to reserve that aura like the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. If he had used such a weapon against someone like Zhu Yu, he would have been sensed immediately. But in the end, he had still failed. Furthermore, this failure still confused him. He still didn't know how Zhu Yu had done this. An ordinary weapon would naturally explode upon colliding with an enchanted item. The corrupt expert was startled. He hadn't expected that Long Chen's weapon would be this useless. His follow-up moves immediately became useless. Long Chen had long since expected this result. A lightning spear appeared in his left hand and stabbed toward his enemy's chest. When it came to combat experience, even the fierce corrupt path's experts couldn't compare to Long Chen. His speed in adapting and changing moves had reached a supreme level. Thunder rumbled. Originally, he had thought that his attack would be able to kill his opponent, but the result was different from what he had expected. It only left a large hole in his opponent. Only then did Long Chen recall that Lai Long and Huo Long had used up all their energy in the cave previously. 
They had less than a tenth of their power, and the curse on him still hadn't faded. This attack hadn't killed his opponent. Suddenly, Little Snow appeared behind him. A sphere of wind blade smashed into the opening on the corrupt expert's chest. That corrupt expert didn't have the slightest ability to resist. He died. The current Little Snow didn't have the ability to kill ordinary Celestials, let alone rank 2 Celestials. But the opportunity had been set up perfectly by Long Chen. From the explosion of his weapon to switching to a lightning spear to Little Snow's attack, everything had happened without the slightest hesitation. Long Chen didn't even need to make a strategy. Everything he had done had happened so instinctively. The corrupt expert was blown into a blood mist. In his weakest state, he couldn't possibly endure Little Snow's attack. Long Chen turned to Zhu Yu and indifferently said, I'm under a curse, and your power has also dropped. Now we can have a fair battle. After saying that, Long Chen put Little Snow back into his spiritual space. His opponent was Zhu Yu, who knew what techniques he still had up his sleeve. He didn't want Little Snow to be in danger. A spear appeared in Long Chen's hand. It was what he had used against that pack of hidden ground gold spiders. Its weight was not bad. Without a better weapon, this was the best option. Boom. Zhu Yu suddenly took out a pitch black sword. Long Chen's spear collided with his sword, causing a powerful explosive sound. Both of them were forced back a dozen steps. He, I have the advantage in terms of physical strength, and you have the advantage in terms of weapon. Now we're on a level playing field. Let's have a fair fight. Battle intent surged within Long Chen. Zhu Yu's black sword was definitely a treasure item. His wrist was actually a bit numb from that collision. That wasn't from Zhu Yu, but from that sword. In terms of weapon, Long Chen was actually at an immense disadvantage. Long Chen was truly startled inside. Zhu Yu was incredibly powerful. His trump cards came out one after another. If he was in his peak state, then that treasure item would be able to release even greater power. If he was capable of truly activating a treasure item, then perhaps he would be able to kill Long Chen. Zhu Yu didn't say anything. His black sword danced in the air as he fought an intense battle with Long Chen. Both of them had profound combat experience. Zhu Yu was clearly an expert in using a sword. His sword attacked and defended as he pleased. He possessed thousands of sword forms for offense and defense, and his sword arts were extremely refined. But Long Chen's spear also danced in the air. Although Long Chen didn't normally use a spear, he knew this kind of long weapon was suited to attacking. As power was more important, he didn't bother using so many fancy techniques. He competed purely in power. But Long Chen was startled to find that Zhu Yu's strength, technique, and experience had all reached the point where he could find no weaknesses. He was definitely an expert forged through slaughter. Boom. Long Chen smashed the spear into Zhu Yu's sword. The ground shook intensely, and dust flew into the air. A lightning and a flame dragon suddenly flew out. Seeing that Long Chen could still use this technique now, Zhu Yu was horrified. He hastily spat blood onto his sword. A black barrier appeared around him. Just as Zhu Yu went all out blocking the two huge dragons, they vanished. Zhu Yu's expression changed, and he hastily dodged to the side. A spear pierced his back, leaving behind a bloody hole. Originally, Long Chen had intended on killing him with this blow. Leaving him alive would bring trouble to the people by his side. Zhu Yu was just too powerful. Those two dragons had just been a feigned. They were too weak to menace Zhu Yu at this time. But Zhu Yu hadn't realized that fast enough. And thinking that Long Chen had still had such a trump card, he had fallen for it. The last bit of his exhausted essence blood had been squeezed out. Using the cover of the two dragons, Long Chen had activated the Netherworld Ghost steps to appear behind Zhu Yu. If he was in his peak state, Zhu Yu would have managed to easily block it. But his physical strength had greatly fallen, and his spiritual perception had also blurred. Long Chen's sneak attack had succeeded. But even if it was a success, Zhu Yu's body was extremely strange. The power of Long Chen's spear was actually greatly weakened upon entering Zhu Yu's body. It was like ignited gunpowder was suddenly put out with water. Otherwise, Zhu Yu would be a corpse now. But even so, there was now a large hole in Zhu Yu's back. Not much blood flowed out, as he was almost out of blood. Despicable. Zhu Yu looked from the injury to Long Chen. The only thing in his eyes was killing intent. Despicable? When this word comes from your mouth, don't you find it satirical? What qualifications do you have to say that? You, someone with great status, actually took advantage of when I was cursed to fight me. In a competition of technique, you lost, and in your fury, you tried to use a magical art to kill me. Although you're in a weakened state now, so am I our power is about the same. Furthermore, 
You are holding a treasure item. For me to use some tactics is considered despicable? He. Previously I thought you were a genius. Now I realize you're an idiot. Long Chen pointed his spear at Zuyu. Battle intent overflowing from him. He shot toward him. Although Long Chen was under a curse and tired to death, he still forced himself to continue. He knew this was his best opportunity to kill Zhu Yu. If he didn't kill him, he would have to worry in the future. Boom. Zhu Yu's sword slashed onto Long Chen's spear. Zhu Yu was blown back dozens of meters. He suddenly spat blood upon his sword once more. That sword began to buzz. Long Chen tightly clenched his spear, ready for an attack. There was definitely something strange with that sword. Count yourself lucky today, Long Chen. I don't have enough essence blood now, and my spiritual yuan is exhausted. Otherwise, I would have many techniques available to kill you. You wouldn't even be able to last 10 moves. But you'll only be lucky this once. Next time, I'll personally cut off your head. After saying that, Zhu Yu suddenly formed a hand seal. And that black sword actually shot off into the distance. Carrying him along Novaloon.com Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. Zhu Yu truly had many trump cards. He sighed. In the end, he still let him get away. It really was dejecting. But he didn't have that much time to feel regret. He hastily put the Spider King's corpse into the primal chaos space. He then went through the battlefield, picking up the corrupt expert's weapons and spatial rings. Then he quickly left. This definitely wasn't a good place to stay too long. Chapter 789 Indigenous Aboriginals Translator Born to be once he left the trial caves, Long Chen carefully continued forward. He passed through two more regions and saw a rather large block ahead on the map. This place was already a bit off from the main path, and there shouldn't be any opportunities within this place. The reason Long Chen had chosen here was to avoid other experts. After going through so many immense battles while cursed, he was already exhausted, whether it was physically or mentally. This curse was just too hateful. This kind of weakness, exhaustion, and negativity made him feel like he had some disease that wouldn't go away. That feeling could make a person crazy. Long Chen swore that he definitely wouldn't play around with this kind of damnable thing again. Last time, it had been his mistake. In truth, while that person had been using this curse, there had been time for Long Chen to interrupt him. Or perhaps he could have summoned Lai Long to isolate the runes outside his body. Of course, the Yama King blood curse that Zhu Yu had used was much more terrifying. Long Chen felt like such a strange move wasn't something that could be blocked. Most likely, he would have to directly interrupt him or directly flee. After all, even a peak 7th rank magical beast had been cursed to death. How was he supposed to block it? It really was too regretful that he hadn't managed to kill Zhu Yu this time. He had just been lacking ever so slightly. In the future, he probably wouldn't have such a good opportunity. Once they encountered each other again, it would definitely be a true world-shaking battle. But Long Chen wasn't afraid. It was only because he had been cursed that he had been at such a disadvantage. In his current weakened state, Long Chen no longer continued to run around randomly. He found that circulating his key was becoming more and more tiresome. If he encountered an expert in this situation, it really would be problematic. There was a vast forest ahead. According to reason, such a place shouldn't have any trials inside it. Cultivators wouldn't be interested in this place. Long Chen entered and found an extremely hidden cave, confirming that no magical beasts were living inside it. He set up a camp inside. Under this loathsome curse, Long Chen couldn't do anything. He just directly began to consume Enlightenment Palace pills. After three days of eating, the Enlightenment Palace star shook slightly. Its body once more grew a bit as it entered the third star transformation. That filled Long Chen with anticipation. Only when each star had reached the ninth star transformation would he be able to summon the true next level divine ring and battle armor. Three days later, he felt his body suddenly lighten. The feeling of being sickly faded all at once. And he felt full of strength. It was like a misophobic person had finally gotten a chance to wash off all the mud on them. That kind of feeling made Long Chen have an urge to cry. The feeling of his strength returning was too good. Now, the curse had disappeared. But Long Chen had gained experience in the corrupt path's techniques. When he encountered such people in the future, he would definitely have to pay any price to cut them down as fast as possible. Punching a few times, Long Chen confirmed that his strength had returned. Furthermore, because he had reached the third star transformation, his strength had clearly increased. Long Chen took out the map. He saw that he had currently deviated from the main path and would need to correct his direction. After passing over two mountains, he suddenly saw two figures rushing ahead. He was startled. 
and he hastily hid himself behind a large tree. Those two were celestials, but Long Chen was startled to see that they were extremely young. They looked to be 15 or 16 years old. There was one man, and one woman. They wore strange clothes, clothes in a style that he had never seen before. Those two youths were clearly panicked as they fled for their lives. There was a layer of light covering their bodies. Long Chen saw that that light wasn't some secret technique, but more like a curse that was exhausting their energy. Big Brother Xiaofei, run. I'll block them. The woman suddenly stopped. What kind of joke is that? How could I possibly let you block them for me? Raged the man. He pulled her, continuing to flee. At this moment, Long Chen saw five figures rapidly getting closer. They were wearing the corrupt path's robes, but they were all just ordinary rank one celestials. The young woman was so panicked that she cried. Now that the immemorial path was opened, we're restricted and can't release our power. If this continues, neither of us will be able to get away. I stop wasting words. Even if we have to die, we have to die together. If I let you block them for me, then even if I live, it would be a life worse than death, said the young man firmly. Their speed was clearly slower than the five corrupt experts. It was obvious they couldn't get away. The young man suddenly stopped running and took out a sword, placing himself in front of the woman. The woman also took out a sword. Long Chen looked and saw that their swords were simply low-grade spirit weapons. The quality wasn't very good. He was curious. These two were so young, but had already reached the Xi'anshan realm and were rank 1 celestials. How could they bring out such broken weapons? Were their sects really so miserly? Ha ha ha. Our luck really is excellent. We've actually caught two aboriginals. Catch them alive and we can exchange them for treasures from their clansmen. Laughed one of the corrupt experts. The man's nothing. But we can try out the woman. To play around with an aboriginal here is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. Said another. You damnable invaders. Die. Roared the youth. A ray of light slashed toward them. His sword struck incredibly quickly. The image of a three petal flower appeared from his sword. That sword flower seemed both real and illusory. It was a sword technique Long Chen had never seen before, but it was extremely refined. However, he still sighed. This was just a flowery attack. It looked good but had no substance behind it. The youth's movements were too rigid. With just a glance, he could tell he didn't have any real combat experience. Boom. That corrupt expert's weapon directly charged toward the man's head. He essentially ignored the sword flower. When it came to combat experience, that youth was incredibly lacking compared to the corrupt experts. One of the corrupt experts released a single attack to force him to retreat. As for the young woman, she was startled and hastily went to interrupt the corrupt expert's attack. But even with the two of them together, they were still repeatedly forced back. The corrupt expert clearly could have defeated them in just a few moves. But he wasn't in a hurry to win. Instead, he was forcing them to counterattack. Long Chen was interested. He also wanted to see just how terrifying these aboriginals were. Why was it that everyone... Whether it was Shu Wuhan or Ouyang Qiyu, would repeatedly warn him to be careful of the aboriginals. The corrupt expert forced them back over and over again. One of them had already activated a photographic jade to record the battle. They had obviously obtained something from their fighting style. Bastards. The young man saw that they were being recorded and suddenly slashed his sword toward the young woman's neck. Long Chen was startled, but he then understood that he wanted to kill the young woman to avoid her being humiliated. He was clearly ready to kill himself as well. He, how could it be so easy to die? Sneered the corrupt expert. His sword suddenly slashed and broke apart the young man's sword. One of his allies also sprang into motion, and they rapidly subdued the two of them. They really are weak. One of them spat on the ground disdainfully. If we weren't restricted by the immemorial path, how could you possibly beat us? The young man was captured. He was infuriated and filled with hatred. He seemed like a captured wolf that was prepared to bite its captors at any moment. Ha, huh, it's okay. We don't want your lives. What we want is to exchange your lives with your clansmen for the things we want. However, before that, we'll need to have some fun. Little miss, so sorry. If you feel pain, please go ahead and scream to your heart's content. Ha <laughs> ha, that corrupt expert directly began to disrobe. Brood, the young man roared furiously. His veins bulged and his eyes almost tore out of their sockets. But he was being held back by two corrupt experts and couldn't escape. Pow. Suddenly, one of the corrupt experts viciously slapped the youth in the face. That powerful force directly broke his face. Blood poured out and his handsome face was completely deformed. But he ignored it and continued to struggle with his full strength. The woman was also struggling. 
but she was being controlled by two powerful corrupt celestials. Her struggling was useless. Tears flowed down her face. Hey, by taking off your pants, are you trying to see if yours is bigger than mine? That man was in the midst of taking off his pants and had yet to reveal his privates. However, as the lazy voice rang out, his body suddenly stiffened and he hastily turned back. At some unknown point, a black-robed, handsome man had silently appeared beside them like some specter from hell. He had sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes. There was a lazy smile on his face, a smile that was quite warm. Combined with his handsomeness, both men and women would like that kind of appearance. But those five corrupt experts immediately felt their hair stand on end. It was like a bucket of ice water had fallen on them, and they felt so cold that they began to quiver. The man taking off his pants didn't dare to move. He was filled with terror. The young man and woman managed to escape from their captors and run to the side now. The corrupt experts completely ignored them, looking in terror at that man, stuttering. Long, long, long. Chapter 790 Red Spider Lily Nectar Translator Born to be cold light flashed and blood splashed. That corrupt expert that had been taking off his pants was cut in two, and then with a turn of Long Chen's wrist, the upper half of his body was blown into a bloody mist. Long, Long, Long? This is your daddy Long, Long Chen. What's the point of just repeating Long? Asked Long Chen impatiently. As soon as Long Chen had arrived, he had used his killing intent to lock down the five of them. That was why they were quivering, not daring to move. As long as they moved, it would immediately bring a killing blow from Long Chen. Toward corrupt experts, Long Chen's principles were simple. If he saw one, he would kill one. If he saw two, he would kill two. He wouldn't feel any guilt or burden. He had already realized the essence of the corrupt path. They believed in the corrupt god and that the weak were accessories to the strong. The strong could do anything they wanted, and they used the weak as their cultivation tools. The majority of their cultivation techniques were related to slaughter. Due to what they were taught from a young age, their humanity had already been eradicated. They were tools for slaughter now. Killing them wouldn't bring him any guilt. Everyone's very busy. Do you want me to do it? Or will you kill yourselves? Long Chen lazily rested his saber on his shoulder. That saber was a high-grade enchanted item. It was something he had found from the rank 3 celestial spatial ring. It was similar in size to blood drinker. Although it was a bit lighter, Long Chen was most suited toward this kind of weapon. The four celestials were pale. Long Chen was the corrupt path's number one person to kill. It seemed there was no one in the corrupt path that didn't know him. The higher-ups had warned them all that rank 2 celestials and below were to run as soon as they saw Long Chen. Because they had no chance at all. Only rank 3 celestials would have the ability to fight him. As for winning, perhaps only Zhu Yu had that ability. So the task of killing Long Chen had been given to Zhu Yu. The higher-ups didn't have favorable opinions of the other rank 3 celestials' chances against Long Chen. It could be seen just how important the corrupt path viewed Long Chen. His priority level had reached an unprecedented level. He was acclaimed as the genius who posed the greatest threat to them in the current age. Don't act so sad. The number of experts you have killed has reached far beyond the thousands. As for when you started cultivating, back then, you already slaughtered countless innocent commoners. Why are you so unwilling now that it's your turn? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. From the very start of their cultivation, the corrupt path relied on disciples killing each other to bring out the elites. It was very simple. The disciples that lived were elites. Then those elite disciples, under the guise of a trial, would initiate battles against the righteous path. They would launch attacks on commoners, using their blood and souls to raise their own cultivation bases, weapons, and techniques. It tempered their instinct to treat other people's lives as stalks of grass and also to make them unafraid of death. But there wasn't really anyone unafraid of death. The brave front they put on was for others to see. When death came for them, they would be no different from those commoners. Although they had slaughtered countless people, that was other people's lives. Seeing others struggle, they enjoyed their despair. But when death came for them, they were the same. They would be panicked, terrified, and unwilling. So with Long Chen's powerful killing intent, they didn't feel the slightest hope of being able to flee. But despite knowing they would die, they still felt such a longing for life. Even living an extra breath felt like such a wondrous thing. Since you want to live so badly, why were you so apathetic toward killing others? Long Chen's expression was icy. He slowly raised his saber, and a murderous aura soared into the sky. His killing intent actually began to condense into a solid form. The distant man and woman were shocked. Although Long Chen's killing intent wasn't targeting them, they felt themselves to be ants in front of a death god. 
Do you know? Those people you killed had fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, and also their lovers. To protect their family, despite knowing they would die, they still charged forward toward your butcher knives. Did you think about this day back then? For some unknown reason, seeing that these four were still unwilling to lose their lives despite knowing they had to die. Long Chen's fury soared. He thought of his first righteous and corrupt battle. Many of those who had followed him to charge into the corrupt path's army hadn't survived. He thought of how the corrupt path had massacred everyone in the cities they had passed. Mothers holding children. Husbands holding wives. Sons and daughters standing in front of their aged parents. Scene after scene appeared in Long Chen's heart. Since they were so apathetic toward other people's lives, they should be apathetic toward their own lives as well. He was infuriated to see them be so voracious for life. Die. Long Chen slashed his saber. A massive saber image whistled toward them, and a powerful key wave blocked out the world. No. Four people turned into bloody mist. That saber had not only been shocking powerful, but it also contained Long Chen's fury. These bastards with their mistaken beliefs had muddled the entire world. Not having a belief was scary, but having a mistaken belief was even scarier. After killing the four of them, Long Chen took a deep breath and forced down his fury. He wasn't a god, and he had no way of changing this. He could only work hard on protecting the people by his side within this chaotic and troubled world. The young woman and man were pale. They looked at Long Chen as if he was a god. Those four celestials hadn't had any ability to retaliate in front of him. Long Chen slowly walked over to the two of them. The young man was afraid, but clenching his teeth, he stood in front of the young woman. He icily stared at Long Chen. His intent was obvious. Even if he had to die, he had to die while protecting his companion. These aboriginals viewed the disciples as invaders. They were enemies with deep enmities stretching back countless years. There was no way to resolve those enmities. He didn't once think that Long Chen would let them off. In fact, he felt that Long Chen was even more sinister than the previous five. Long Chen walked up to that youth and patted him on the shoulder. Little fellow, you're not bad. As a man, you have the same style I had back when I was young. Looking at this youth, Long Chen recalled a scene of him standing in front of Chu Yao. He felt a bit emotional. At that time, he had also been so young, so immature. Now, several years had passed. He had always tried to maintain his original heart. But looking at this young man and woman, he recalled many memories and couldn't help but sigh emotionally. Time passed. People aged. It had already been three years since he had left Phoenix Cry. He was already 19 years old. But during those three years, he had experienced far, far too much. His appearance might be young, but his heart was already tired. He no longer had the kind of feeling a youth had. Perhaps that was the price of growth. You, you aren't going to kill us. The young man looked at Long Chen, bewildered. It was the woman who opened her mouth and spoke with a trembling voice. I have no reason to kill you. Long Chen shook his head. I don't believe you. You definitely have some sort of plot, said that young man. All right, I can give you proof. Then you'll believe me, said Long Chen helplessly. What proof? They were startled. Long Chen raised his saber and took on an attacking posture. Once I kill you, you'll believe I don't have any plot. Don't, cried the two of them hastily. It's just a joke. No need to make such a fuss. All right, I've wasted quite a bit of time. I'm moving on. Otherwise, all the good stuff will be eaten by a bunch of pigs. Long Chen smiled slightly, putting away his saber. He brushed his hands off and turned away. Excuse me, big brother, please wait a moment, said the young man after a moment's hesitation. Do you need something? Long Chen looked back. The youth once more hesitated, but then he clenched his teeth and said, I'd like to ask you for some help. Help? Are you stupid? Or are you stupid? We're enemies. Long Chen was practically speechless. This child really was crazy. The fact that Long Chen hadn't killed him was already his good fortune. But now he actually wanted his help. Big brother, you're really handsome. An unrevealed hero. A get to the point. Cough. Let me explain. We came out this time in search of a medicine called the Seven Star Red Spider Lily Nectar. I'd like to ask Big Brother to help us. If you could, I will be endlessly grateful, said the young man. Seven Star Red Spider Lily Nectar? One of your people's soul has been torn, asked Long Chen. How? How did you know? The two of them were startled. Of course Long Chen knew. Although that nectar had quite a few uses, the greatest one was in healing a torn soul. It had an almost miraculous healing effect in that regard. If my guess is right, a sea expansion expert must have lacked spiritual strength when attacking foundation forging. 
When they forcibly tried to condense the immortal platform, it resulted in failure, and their soul was torn, said Long Chen. Although Long Chen hadn't reached that realm, after talking with Xu Wuhan and Ouyang Qiuayu, he had learned many things about that realm. From their shocked expressions, he knew his guess was right. He was quite surprised. There were quite a few powerful existences amongst these aboriginals. Yes, you're right. One of our tribesmen failed while attacking the Foundation Forging Realm, resulting in a tear in her soul. Each day, she has to suffer immense pain. I beg Big Brother to help us. That young woman seemed to not have so many thoughts. And before the man could stop her, she blurted out everything. Chapter 791 Conflict Once more Ariza's translator, born to be Long Chen nodded. The pain of having one's soul torn was definitely not something ordinary people could endure. The seven-star red spider lily nectar was the only thing capable of quickly stopping the pain. It was very reasonable for them to be looking for it. Originally, he wanted to refuse. But looking at their imploring expressions, and especially since they had taken this risk to help heal someone, he couldn't bring himself to say no. Furthermore, he saw that the strange light on their bodies was weakening them. Otherwise, they would have been able to flee from those five. Fine, I can accompany you for a stroll. Hopefully it won't take too long, because I still have things to do, said Long Chen. Don't worry, big brother, that seven-star red spider lily nectar is right within these mountains. It should just require a bit of time, said the one man excitedly upon seeing Long Chen agree. Just now, Long Chen had killed four celestials in one blow. They hadn't even been able to resist. Furthermore, from their terrified gazes, it was obvious that Long Chen was an absolutely terrifying figure. If Long Chen helped them, they would have an absolute assurance of safety. Since he had agreed, Long Chen followed them back to their original location. According to them, there was a nearby mountain valley that was guaranteed to have the lily. Big brother, I'm Xiao Fei, and she is Xiao Yu. Dare I ask big brother's name? Asked the young man. Long Chen, big brother Long Chen, the mountain valley is up ahead. If it weren't for the invaders ah. Sorry big brother Long Chen. The young man realized he had misspoken and hastily apologized. It's fine. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't mind if they called him an invader. If it weren't for them, you would have already obtained it. Asked Long Chen. Yes, you really were unlucky then. This place is quite a bit off the main path. There shouldn't have been anyone here. But in this large of place, you still managed to run into them. That kind of bad luck can count as heaven defying. He, you can't put it like that. Didn't we also run into you? That means our luck is not bad. Laughed the woman. She had already recovered from her shock and fear. Long Chen looked at the light coming from their bodies and wanted to say something. But he swallowed his words in the end. He didn't want to ask about their secrets. That was taboo. In truth, we, Xiao Fei saw Long Chen's actions, and after a moment's hesitation, he opened his mouth to explain. We've arrived. Let's split up to look for it, but don't go too far. Everyone remains within sight of each other. If you run into anything dangerous, let out a shout. Long Chen cut him off. Xiao Fei was grateful. Long Chen was trying not to make it hard on him. After all, this related to the aboriginal secrets. If he explained it to an invader, he would be considered a sinner. The three of them entered the mountain valley and spread out. They stayed within a few miles of each other so Long Chen could handle any sudden changes. The seven-star red spider lily nectar was actually a dewdrop condensed from the lily. Once this liquid was condensed, it would rest on the pistil of the flower for seven days. After seven days, it would naturally fall and land on the ground. The essence in the dewdrop would be absorbed by the earth. Then it would be reabsorbed by the lily. Three months later, a new dewdrop would form. The cycle continued to repeat endlessly. The red spider lily went from one star to seven stars. Seven stars was the peak, a seventh tier medicinal ingredient. It had already gone almost extinct in the outside world. Long Chen traveled several miles, and he quickly found a three star red spider lily. But it was useless. One reason was that it hadn't condensed a dewdrop, and another was that if it hadn't reached the seven star level, its dewdrop would be useless. He pulled that three-star red spider lily into the primal chaos space. He was just about to see if he could make it grow to the seven-star level when Xiao Fei's startled cry rang out. Long Chen hastily shot over, his saber appearing in his hand. But when he arrived, he didn't even see a ghost by Xiao Fei's side. He hadn't encountered any attack, seeing him completely fine. Long Chen rebuked. What are you shouting for? You made me think something happened. Xiao Fei reddened and he apologized. Sorry. I was too emotional. 
I saw a seven-star red spider lily nectar. He pointed to a three-foot-tall lily. There was a thumb-sized dewdrop on it. That dewdrop sparkled like a jewel. It reflected their three images perfectly like it was crystal. This is amazing, cried Xiaofei. But he quickly realized that Long Chen was just staring at the dewdrop, lost in thought. What was he thinking? He gently pulled on him. Big brother Long Chen, what is it? The seven-star red spider lily is actually a branch of the pyramid of flower. As there can be up to seven starry spots on its leaves, it received the name of the seven-star red spider lily. Although it isn't the true pyramid of flower, as long as the flower remains undamaged, the dewdrop will undergo a perpetual cycle of reincarnation. It contains the essence of life. When you stand on top of the petal, looking at the ground, you will be full of fear because you'll feel like landing on the ground signifies death. But a few months later, the dewdrop's essence will be reabsorbed, and the red spider lily will condense the dewdrop again. Would you still be you? Or would you no longer be the old you? For some unknown reason, Long Chen felt endless emotion when he looked at that dewdrop. It felt like he had suddenly reached a higher comprehension of the true essence of life. If a red spider lily had ten stars, it would be called the flower of reincarnation, the pyramid of flower. It was said that the true pyramid of flower would bloom for a thousand years, then its flower would wilt, and its leaves would grow. The blossom and the leaves would forever cycle, never to see each other. For some unknown reason, Long Chen was filled with pain and sorrow as he looked at this lily. He felt a heart-wrenching pain. This was a seven-star red spider lily, not the pyramid of flower. It only had a slight relationship to the pyramid of flower. Its flower and leaves were completely different. But Long Chen couldn't help feeling grief. Is it the pill god memories? Long Chen's heart was heavy. Ever since he had awakened those incomplete pill god memories, their effect on him had lessened, as his cultivation base had increased. But today, he felt an emotion that was difficult to describe. He felt extremely sad. He still understood far too little about the pill god memories and the nine-star hegemon body art. Touching his spatial ring, he took out a small bamboo straw. It was a special straw that could isolate the outside world's aura. It was the best tool for storing medicinal liquid. Long Chen carefully extracted the dewdrop and gave it to Xiaofei. Thank you, big brother Long Chen. Xiaofei was endlessly grateful. Long Chen smiled slightly. He was just about to say something when he smashed his fist behind him. Boom. Long Chen's fist struck a spear. The entire ground trembled. A powerful key wave directly sent Xiaofei and Xiaoyu flying. Long Chen was startled. This attack had contained incredible power. Without even thinking about, his saber slashed behind him. Only now did he have a chance to see his ambusher. It was a tall man with a powerful aura. He was clearly startled, not expecting Long Chen to have managed to block his attack. See Expansion Celestial. Long Chen was startled. This aura of his was as vast as a sea, but some kind of strange law was suppressing it. Long Chen's saber was like berserk lightning. Its angle was perfectly the most difficult angle for the man to block. It was too late for him to block with his spear. He suddenly used his arms to knock aside the saber. Boom. The large man's sleeves were torn apart and sent flying. Long Chen's saber shook. It had actually been blocked by his arms. Long Chen was startled. What kind of person could use just their bare arms to block his attack? But then he saw the arm protectors he was wearing. But although that person managed to block, he still wasn't able to resist Long Chen's immense power. He lost his balance and was sent flying. Long Chen shot after him. His afterimage suddenly blurred as he appeared behind the large man. His saber once more slashed down. Big brother Long Chen. Don't. Xiaofei and Xiaoyu both shouted in panic. But it was too late. Long Chen was just too fast. His saber was already slashing toward that man's back. The man was like a shooting star. He slammed into the ground and continued for several miles. The entire mountain valley shook and half of it collapsed. He vomited a mouthful of blood, but he didn't die. Xiaofei and Xiaoyu both sighed with relief. They were pale with fright. There were over ten people by their side now, and their leader was a woman in her late twenties who looked vigilantly at Long Chen. Next time, can you shout faster? Long Chen swung his blade, a bit speechless. When those two had shouted, Long Chen had realized the situation had turned sour, but it had been too late to stop his attack. So at that moment, he had reversed his saber, using the back of it to send that person flying. Otherwise, he would be dead. Xiaofei patted his pounding heart. Just now, he really had been terrified. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be so powerful. Even a sea expansion celestial couldn't last a single breath against him. Just who are you? What's your goal in getting close to Xiaofei? The lead woman asked icily. 
staring cautiously at Long Chen Man Zhu Sha Hua equals red spider lily bee and Hua equals pyramid of flower. In Chinese, is another way of saying red spider lily. Pyramida is literally other side, getting to the other shore. The most popular concept of Pyramida is that the mundane life is a sea of bitterness, and Pyramida involves crossing the sea to reach the other shore, which is normally done through enlightenment. Chapter 792 Going to the Shao Tribe Translator Born to be Big Sister Ling, Big Brother Long Chen isn't a bad person. He Shao Yu hastily tried to explain. What do you understand? These invaders are all extremely bad people. They use all kinds of sinister schemes. He might be able to trick you too. But he can't trick me. The woman waved her hand, cutting her off. I still haven't told you two off yet. Who said you could run out like this? Do you know how worried everyone was for you? I know. Sister Ling. We were looking for the seven star red spider lily nectar for Aunt King. Xiao Fei lowered his head. You. You'll soon be 16 years old. When will you grow up? That nectar is something you might spend months looking for without finding it. Furthermore, this is the absolute worst time to look for it. I know you don't want to see your Aunt King in pain, but during this time, if something happened to you, wouldn't you just make Aunt King feel even more pain? That woman rubbed Xiao Fei's cheek a bit tenderly. HMPH. How many times have we told you? The invaders are all despicable and shameless schemers. How could you be so stupid as to trust them? The man who had been sent flying by Long Chen now arrived in front of Xiao Fei, furious. Big brother Long Chen isn't a bad person. Xiao Fei didn't retort the woman's words. But he immediately became enraged when this man spoke. What do you understand? Invaders are enemies. And how could enemies be good people? Shouted the man furiously. Don't use this kind of tone. Xiao Fei is the future inheritor of the tribe. Pay attention to your status. That woman immediately came up to protect Xiao Fei upon seeing him curse Xiao Fei so furiously. HMPH. Someone without a head will only cause trouble for others. How can someone who can't even understand the big picture be the tribe leader? Furthermore, his talent can only count as average in his realm. Are people really supposed to be convinced by that? Snorted the tall man disdainfully. Shagu, you go too far, raged the woman. How did I go too far? I just have this temperament. You know me, said the large man Shagu obstinately. How dramatic. Truly a good drama. Long Chen finally interrupted their argument. Well, please continue with your drama. I still have stuff to do, so I'll leave first. Little brother, goodbye. Long Chen waved his hand to Xiao Fei and turned to leave. Hold it. Leave your life behind first. Shouted Xiao Gu everyone immediately surrounded Long Chen. Half of them had reached sea expansion, and most importantly, they were all celestials. Long Chen narrowed his eyes and icily said, I didn't kill you just now because of Xiao Fei. If anyone wants to block me now, then don't blame me for starting a slaughter. Sister Ling, don't do this. Big brother Long Chen saved our lives, and he also helped us find the seven star red spider lily nectar. Look, Xiao Fei was appalled to see that a battle was about to erupt and he hastily showed that sister Ling the nectar. He gave everyone a quick recount of his experience with Long Chen. Are you telling the truth? Asked a startled Xiao Ling. Of course it's true. Don't fight. We're all on the same side, said Xiao Yu. Everyone stop, ordered Xiao Ling. Following her shout, the majority of the people came to her side. Only three people continued to surround Long Chen, and one of them was Xiao Gu Xiao Gu. What do you think you're doing? Xiao Ling's expression sank. This Xiao Gu was becoming more and more unbridled. He was clearly going against her. HMPH. Have you forgotten our ancestors' rules? Invaders are enemies that absolutely can't be trusted. Are you planning on violating the ancestors' rules? Shouted Xiao Gu he had no intention of giving up. Long Chen's attack just now had humiliated him. Although Long Chen had spared him, Xiao Gu wasn't grateful. He still wanted to work together with everyone to kill him. Long Chen didn't say anything. He just watched. If any of them dared to attack, he would kill them no matter what anyone said. He definitely couldn't indulge such people. I don't need you to teach me the rules. He saved Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu. So he is a benefactor of our Xiao tribe. To forget gratitude is also forbidden according to the ancestral teachings. This matter can't be handled by me nor can it be handled by you. The tribe leader will naturally make his decision. Right now, we should go back as fast as possible. Don't make me turn hostile against you. Xiao Ling's expression became increasingly stern. Her position was clearly the highest here. HMPH. Xiao Gu snorted and retreated with the other two, but he still kept a close eye on Long Chen. You are Long Chen. 
Xiaoling's expression became slightly more gentle. There's no need to waste the time. I only saved them because I saw that they didn't abandon each other even in the face of death. There's no need to thank me. I just do whatever I want. Now, I want to leave as I have many more things to do. I really don't feel like watching your melodramatic internal fight. Long Chen shook his head and was about to leave. Big brother Long Chen, don't leave. Follow us back to the tribe so we can thank you, said Xiao Yu sincerely, pulling on his sleeve. I appreciate the thought, but there's no need. I really have things to do, so I can't tarry any longer. Long Chen politely escaped her hold. Seeing that Long Chen refused to go back with them, Xiao Yu and Xiao Fei were a bit disappointed. Xiao Gu suddenly sneered. I just knew he had to be scheming against you too. He's afraid of being exposed, so he doesn't dare to come. Leave your shallow provocations for children. It's embarrassing to look at, retorted Long Chen. As expected, wherever there were people, there were idiots. Long Chen, I can use my head to guarantee your safety. Our Xiao tribe has its own pride and we definitely won't harm someone who has helped us. Furthermore, I trust that you came to the immemorial path in search of opportunities. Well, who understands the immemorial path better than us? The people who live here, said Xiaoling. Long Chen was moved by that. That was true. The map he had obtained was something created through generations of experts that had entered the immemorial path. But these indigenous people had lived here for countless years. They definitely had to have a greater understanding of this place. If they told him a few good secret locations, wouldn't he have made a huge profit? But he was still a bit hesitant. If they didn't have any good intentions, then wouldn't he be sending himself to the tiger's den? However, looking at Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu's expectant gazes, as well as Xiao Ling's righteous manner, it seemed they were trustworthy. Well, as long as he ignored that idiot Xiao Gu, they seemed trustworthy. It seems it really is difficult to refuse hospitality. If I continue to decline, I would become someone who doesn't know how to appreciate kindness. Long Chen smiled. Although it was a bit risky, he trusted his intuition. People unafraid of death were normally more trustworthy. Great, big brother Long. Once we get back to the tribe, I'll treat you to some wine. Laughed Xiao Fei excitedly. Although his size was no longer so small, his manner was still quite childish. Only Xiao Gu looked at Long Chen a bit disdainfully upon seeing him agree. But he didn't say anything. They crossed seven blocks. Long Chen didn't sense anything, but Xiao Fei and the others' auras began to grow as the halos of light around their bodies faded. Ha ha ha, we finally escaped that damnable suppression. Long Chen, do you believe me when I say that I can now crush you with a single fist? Xiao Gu suddenly laughed and pointed at Long Chen. Xiao Gu, Long Chen is our guest. If you dare to be so rude again, don't blame me for becoming hostile, shouted Xiao Ling. It wasn't just Xiao Ling who was infuriated now. The other experts were also dissatisfied. One of the other sea expansion celestials icily said, Xiao Gu, pay attention to your status. Don't go too far, Xiao Qiang. It seems that with your mid-sea expansion power, you don't have the qualifications to criticize me, sneered Xiao Gu but he didn't continue making things hard on Long Chen. He just continued traveling with them. Perhaps she felt a bit apologetic, but Xiao Ling took the initiative to say, all the indigenous people are normally fine and won't suffer any suppression except perhaps in some trial regions. But when the immemorial path opens, the laws of the immemorial path change. Other than near our homeland where we have special formations, we will receive a heavy suppression. Long Chen nodded. He hadn't expected there to be such a secret. Although he had guessed a bit of it before, for Shaoling to be so sincere, it seemed he had made the right choice in coming. They once more advanced for a while when Xiaoling suddenly stopped and apologetically said, Long Chen, I'm sorry, but the rest of the way is a secret of our tribe. Please wear this blindfold. It will isolate your divine sense. I hope you can understand why we need to do this. Long Chen looked at Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu. They nodded, so he smiled and received the blindfold. Since he had chosen to trust them, he would trust them to the end. This blindfold had strange runes to block his divine sense but they weren't aware just how strong his spiritual perception was. With his vast spiritual strength, this blindfold was unable to completely block his divine sense. Just relying on a bit of spiritual strength that could slip through, Long Chen could see everything. After two more blocks, a new group of people appeared. Upon seeing Long Chen, they didn't say anything. After a bit more, a transportation formation appeared. Once it activated, Long Chen found that he had appeared within a huge tribe. Chapter 793 Punishment Translator Born to be the blindfold was taken off. 
Although Long Chen had seen everything, he still put on an act and looked around carefully. This was a flat grassland, and the emerald grass spread far into the horizon. There were some large tents further away, looking like stars sprinkled around a large plaza. At the center of the grassland was an ancient altar. Before Long Chen could examine that altar, a huge group of experts surrounded him. There were hundreds of them, and they were all celestials. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. What was going on? Did celestials just sprout out of the ground here? It seemed that every member of the Shao tribe was a celestial. In the outside world, amongst a million cultivators, there might not even be a single celestial. But here, they were all celestials. An invader. These people all glared at Long Chen, seeming to want to bite him to death. It was like he was the person who had killed their fathers. Seventh Elder, don't be impetuous. I'm bringing him to see the old tribe leader, said Shaoling. It seemed Shaoling's status amongst these people was a bit special. Although that elder was displeased, he still nodded to one person. That person immediately rushed off. Being stared at by hundreds of blade-like eyes was extremely uncomfortable. Long Chen even started to feel regret for coming. Don't be nervous. These uncles are actually all good people. They just have a great deal of enmity with the invaders. You're different. Xiaofei comforted Long Chen. HMPH. How is he different? Invaders are all violent and shameless. Each time they come, they'll undergo a slaughter of us. What do you children understand? Shouted a man from the crowd. Xiaogu's gaze suddenly focused on that man. He cast him a certain look, and that person immediately understood. He took off his boot and threw it at Long Chen. I'll beat you damn invaders to death. Pow. Long Chen's expression sank. He definitely wasn't able to endure such humiliation. Even in front of powerful enemies, he couldn't endure it. He was just about to take out his saber, but Xiaoling was even faster than him. She caught the boot and viciously flung it back into that person's face. Xiaoming, when did you become someone else's dog? Someone looks at you, and you go to bite someone, shouted Xiaoling furiously. That person hadn't expected that Xiaoling would actually interfere. As a result, he was struck by the bottom of his boot, and the smell made him almost faint. In truth, he didn't know that he had just brushed up against the gates of hell. If it hadn't been for Xiaoling, he would already be dead. Xiaoling, you would fight your own tribesmen for an invader. Just where do your loyalties lie? Xiaogu was specifically waiting for this moment. He was finally in the right. Fuck off. Pow. Long Chen really couldn't keep watching anymore and sent out a slap. Xiaogu's square face was struck perfectly. Xiaogu shot out like a cannonball. People tried to catch him, but Long Chen's slap hadn't left them with any ability to help. Although these people were celestials. They hadn't summoned their heavenly Dao runes, that made their power limited, and as a result, Xiaogu smashed through them. Even Xiaoling was stunned. She had never imagined that Long Chen would be so brazen as to strike Xiaogu here. She could strike someone because these were her tribesmen. Whatever happened, they could discuss it later. But Long Chen was an outsider. People already hated him. Now, he had truly provoked a disaster. As expected, despite her shouting, everyone else furiously charged at Long Chen. Xiaofei and Xiaoyu were both stunned. They had never expected matters to reach this point. Long Chen snorted. His saber was already in his hand. Although this wasn't going according to the plan, it was impossible for him to accept such a humiliation. The only way he could accept such a thing was if he was dead. Seeing killing intent condensing around Long Chen, Xiaofei and Xiaoyu turned pale with fright. Stop. A shout rang out. It wasn't very loud, nor was it very domineering. It was an extremely dignified shout, but it was this shout that caused all of them to stop. Instantly, it became so quiet that it was possible to hear the drop of a pin. Young people must guard against pride and impatience. Pride will bring envy, temper will bring rage, and it will be impossible to make correct decisions when overcome by anger. How many times have I told you this, but you still don't mature at all? Two elders walked over. They were both white-haired and covered in wrinkles but their bodies were still tall and straight like ancient cedars. One of them was holding an ebony cane. There weren't the slightest fluctuations coming from him, but he gave off a mountain-like pressure. The other elder walked behind him. His eyes were completely white. He had no pupils at all. Old tribe leader. Everyone hastily bowed. The cane-carrying elder nodded. Looking at Long Chen, shock flashed within his turbid eyes, but they quickly returned to calm. Tribe leader. What happened is... Xiaoling hastily began to explain about how Long Chen had saved Xiaofei and Xiaoyu, and then even helped them find the seven-star red spider lily nectar. After hearing the story, 
The elder nodded and comforted the slightly apprehensive Xiaoling. Good child. You're not inferior to any man when it comes to your conduct. Does our Xiao tribe have any little people who don't know how to repay gratitude? Seeing that the old tribe leader wasn't angry and actually complimented her, Xiaoling was relieved. She hastily said, Long Chen, this is our old tribe leader. Greetings, senior. Long Chen cupped his hands and bowed slightly toward this person. Many thanks for helping my Xiao tribe's people. This old man will remember this favor, said the tribe leader. Because he had gotten closer, Long Chen now saw an air of death around the elder. His longevity was clearly near its end. He might fall at any moment. This was something he saw only because of his proficiency in the pill Dao. You have a good vision. I still have some affairs to handle before I can go. The old tribe leader saw Long Chen's shocked expression and smiled. But turning to look at his people, his smile disappeared and he coldly said, Xiao Fei, as the future leader of the tribe, how could you be so impetuous as to go out during such a dangerous time? You made Xiaoling go searching for you with so many people. Do you realize that your actions brought danger to every one of them? Toward the end, his voice became an icy shout. Xiao Fei's actions had clearly infuriated him. Everyone was silent for a moment, not daring to say anything. But Xiao Gu had a hard-to-notice smile on his face. Xiao Fei knelt on the ground, but he stubbornly said, Old tribe leader, I don't want to be the tribe's heir, nor do I have the ability to. You can call me selfish. You can say I don't know how to handle things. I, Xiao Fei, accept my punishment. Xiao Fei didn't confess to anything, nor did he try explaining, nor did he bother asking for leniency. His eyes were completely calm as he looked at the old tribe leader. You, the old tribe leader looked at the obstinate Xiao Fei and didn't know what to do. In his eyes, Xiao Fei looked too similar to his deceased father. Old tribe leader, although Xiao Fei was impulsive, he had good intentions. Now. We've obtained the seven-star red spider lily nectar, and the Xiao tribe didn't suffer any loss. It's best to have the merit cancel the punishment, implored one tribe elder. He was just lucky this time. To have his companions risk death just because of a selfish whim is a trait unsuitable for a leader. If our tribe allowed such a person to let us, wouldn't that terrify us all? How many of us could accept such a thing? Xiao Gu was the first to retort. At the same time, there were also quite a few other young disciples who stood out. They obviously didn't look favorably upon Xiao Fei. That was because Xiao Fei wasn't very strong. He could only count as average within his generation. It wasn't enough to convince them. With this many people retorting, Xiao Ling wanted to say something, but anything she could say would be useless. As a tribe's leader, the first requirement was the power that convinced everyone that they should be the number one figure. The next most important requirement was to be calm, steady, and experienced. Xiao Fei didn't meet any of those requirements. Xiao Yu also couldn't say anything. She wanted to beg for leniency, yet she knew doing so would be useless. TCH. Just as quite a few people were hurling abuse, a snicker rang out. Everyone looked toward the source of that snicker. It was from Long Chen. What are you snickering about? Raged Xiao Gu naturally. I'm snickering about you idiots. I look down on you hypocritical saints the most. Sneered Long Chen. What do you think you're talking about? This is our Xiao tribe's matter. An invader like you has no right to speak. Shouted Xiao Gu. Killing intent erupted from him. It could be said that after Long Chen slapped his face, his hatred for him had been carved into his bones and engraved in his heart. Your Xiao tribe? So you know that you're a member of the Xiao tribe? I actually thought that you were an invader. To want to beat your own people to the brink of death for the slightest mistake. Your Xiao tribe's people really know how to play around. I must say. Your skin is even thicker than mine, sneered Long Chen. You, raged Xiao Gu young friend. Do you have any suggestions? Asked the old tribe leader politely. You want to hear them? Asked Long Chen. Of course. All right then. Then I'll properly discuss this with you. Long Chen walked over to Xiao Fei in front of everyone's gazes. Chapter 794 Challenge Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen standing out, Xiao Yu was both grateful and afraid. It was unexpected that the person to speak up for Xiao Fei would be an outsider. Xiao Ling had a complicated expression. Long Chen was the first one from the outside world permitted to enter the Xiao tribe in all of history. She didn't know whether what she had done was right or wrong anymore. Big brother Long Chen. Xiao Fei was stunned. Get up when you speak. Long Chen arrived in front of Xiao Fei. I committed a mistake. I should be punished. A mistake? What mistake? Asked Long Chen. Originally, I thought you were a man which is the only reason I saved you, but now I find that you're a coward, 
You really disappoint me. I'm not a coward, exclaimed Xiaofei. Did you think that just because you could fight against enemies unafraid of death that you're not a coward? Did you think that just because you didn't abandon your companion that you weren't a coward? But you say your decisions were wrong just because someone criticized you? How are you not a coward? You risked your life to gather the seven-star red spider lily nectar to save someone. You couldn't bear to see someone close to you suffer the pain of having their soul torn. Let me ask you, if you had to choose again, would you do it again? Asked Long Chen. Xiaofei was stunned, but then he nodded. As long I can stop Ant King from suffering that pain, then even if I had to die, I would be willing. If I had to choose again, I would make the same decision. An uproar erupted. It was unexpected that Xiaofei was actually so obstinate. He didn't feel any regret. Xiaofei, you are the future leader of the tribe. If you ignore the big picture, you will bring danger to the entire Xiao tribe. You aren't suited to leading the tribe, said the old tribe leader. Xiaofei shouted, I never wanted to lead the tribe. I don't have any great ambitions or goals. Ever since my father died, you all started looking down on me. The only one who always took care of me was Ant King. But the rest of you treated me as a tool that had to cultivate all out every day. It's been 10 years already. I've long since had enough. If it weren't for Ant King always looking after me, encouraging me, I'd have long since gone crazy because of you. Just because my father was the tribe leader. Why do I have to be the next tribe leader? Did you ever ask me if I wanted to? Did you ever ask me what I wanted? I'm just an ordinary cultivator. Must you force a chicken into becoming an eagle? You're the selfish ones. Do you know what it's like to go all out cultivating but still be thrown into the distance by your peers? Do you know how many times I thought about taking my own life? There are so many geniuses in the tribe. Pick one of them. Why does it have to be me? Only Ant King understood me, protected me, and loved me. If I want to die for her, what does it have to do with you? If I die, then I die. Did I ask you to save me? I just wanted to save Ant King. I just want her to not have to suffer. If I had to die, I'd be willing. It has nothing to do with you. Xiaofei became more and more emotional as he spoke. Towards the end, years of grievance began to spill out. Everyone was silent. Ten years ago, Xiaofei had just been a child. Thinking of how everyone had looked at him with such disappointment and resentment as he didn't improve, it truly was a bit unfair. But what other way was there? He was the tribe leader's son. Originally, the old tribe leader had already given up his position. But then the new tribe leader had died in battle. And so the old tribe leader had had no choice but to take up the mantle again. That was why everyone called him old tribe leader instead of tribe leader. Long Chen patted Xiaofei's shoulder. A man should be manly. What are you crying about? Crying is for the weak. The strong are the ones who make others cry. Since you were born a man, you have to understand that you were born to be a man capable of supporting heaven and earth. Suffering and grievances are your trials. Only once you pass those trials can you become strong. Weak people don't get strong just because they want to. They have to have a reason to get stronger. Wipe away those things in your eyes. Don't start bawling because of a little grievance. You're a man. Grievances have to be stuffed inside. Yes. Big brother Long Chen. I'll listen to you. Xiaofei wiped away his tears and stood up. For some unknown reason, having Long Chen by his side gave him endless confidence. He trusted that Long Chen's words were correct. Long Chen definitely wouldn't trick him. At this time, the Xiao tribe's experts were all silent. More people were starting to walk out from the interior of the Xiao tribe. They tightly surrounded them. Long Chen looked at those people and said, Xiaofei is still a child. Although I'm not sure why you're all pushing him so hard. If my guess is right, his body must be special. He should possess immense potential, which is why you're pushing him to be your tribe leader. Everyone was surprised by his words. Many of them were startled, not understanding what he was saying. They turned to look at the old tribe leader and the elders. The old tribe leader nodded slightly. Yes, Xiaofei possesses an immense energy within him. Once it's activated, his accomplishments will very likely surpass the previous tribe leader. He would become the strongest expert born from our Xiao tribe since the immemorial path was sealed. Unfortunately, he sighed. The other elders were also somber. They naturally had their own secret troubles for them to force Xiaofei to work so hard. Currently, Xiaofei was just a rank 1 celestial. If he was unable to awaken as a rank 3 celestial by the time he was 16, he would forever be a rank 1 celestial. Within the immemorial path, there was the remnant spiritual key from the immortal era. The children here would automatically awaken as celestials by the time they were 9 years old. But normally, 
they would only be rank 1 celestials. Amongst 10,000 people, perhaps only one person would awaken as a rank 2 celestial. As for Shafei's father, he had been a terrifying rank 3 celestial. Shafei was his only son, and within his body flowed his father's blood. A terrifying energy was hidden within him, and once it was activated, he would also become a rank 3 celestial. The third rank was the limit for these indigenous people. They suffered under the laws of the immemorial path, and so they were unable to break through to the fourth rank. But as time passed, Shafei grew older, and there was still no sign of his awakening. That energy within him was dormant. That made the higher-ups of the tribe extremely worried. So they had increased the pressure on Shafei more and more. They hoped he would awaken that energy under their pressure. Now, Shafei was already 15 years old. They no longer hoped he could awaken as a rank 3 celestial. Just becoming a rank 2 celestial would make them happy. In truth, all these elders cared deeply about Shafei. That was why they were so angry that Shafei would suddenly disappear to go gather the seven star red spider lily nectar at such a time. They were afraid of something unexpected happening to him. Since you don't want to be the future tribe leader, then fine. The old tribe leader is present. Let's choose a new successor, said Shagu suddenly. His intentions were obvious. Amongst the junior generation, he was the strongest. Although they were all rank 1 celestials, the only one who could slightly suppress him was Shaoling. But there was no precedent of a female tribe leader in the Xiao tribe. There's no need for that. You don't have the qualifications, said Long Chen disdainfully. What nonsense. How do I not qualify? Raged Xiaogu firstly. You're impatient, hot-tempered, and tyrannical. You like to conduct yourself according to your temper, which is the typical style of a tyrant. Secondly, you are selfish and apathetic to anyone else. Xiaofei is the last generation's tribe leader's son. Even the old tribe leader has said that the previous tribe leader died in battle. Shafei is so pitiful, but you still hit him when he's down, fighting for his position. Thirdly, a tribe leader should possess a benevolent heart, a heart for the tribe, a heart to protect the tribe to their death. Shafei is willing to throw away his life for his family. Do you have that courage? Fourthly, and this is the most important one, you're not strong enough. Compared to Shafei, you are greatly lacking. Long Chen shook his head contemptuously. The first three points were well said. Everyone had been nodding inside, feeling that Long Chen's words were correct. But his last point was doubtful. Shagu was a late sea expansion expert, and he was a rank 1 celestial. Furthermore, his combat power was also excellent. Was Long Chen getting things backward by saying Shagu was weaker than Shaofei? The old tribe leader was silent. He just calmly watched. As for the white eyed elder by his side, he hadn't said a word from the start. His eyes didn't even move. It was as if he was truly blind. Bullshit. How can I be weaker than him? If you can't accept that, then let's have a fight right now. The loser doesn't have the qualifications to be the tribe leader. Sneered Shagu his words were quite smart. It wasn't very realistic for him to suggest that he become the tribe leader just because he won. But once he eliminated Shafei from the competition, then there was no one else more qualified than him in the junior generation. The tribe leader position would still be his. Furthermore, this suggestion wasn't objectionable. I never wanted to be the tribe leader. If you want that position, you can take it. I said Shafei. Little brother, this time you're wrong. The tribe leader position is like a peach. Even if you don't eat it, you can give it to others. That's called magnanimity. But if someone wants to snatch it from you before your offering, then the flavor changes. Then it's not magnanimity, but cowardice. Furthermore, even if it's for no one else, I'm sure your Aunt King also has great expectations for you. She has definitely been looking forward to the day that you succeed the tribe leader position and bring the tribe to glory, said Long Chen. When Long Chen mentioned Xiao King, Xiao Fei's eyes reddened. He clearly cared deeply about Aunt King. He clenched his teeth and said, Fine, I'll go all out. Xiao Fei walked over to Xiao Gu, overflowing with battle intent, startling everyone. For Shaofei to fight Shagu was just asking to be humiliated. Ha ha ha. Good. Then let me see just what you'll use to go all out against me. Laughed Shagu. Shaofei had only just taken a few steps when he was held back by Long Chen. What are you doing? I'm going to go all out against him. For Ant King, I'll be the tribe leader. Said Shaofei. What's the point? You can't beat him. Long Chen shook his head. Shaofei was befuddled. Just now, hadn't he encouraged him? Why was he pouring ice water over him now? Long Chen couldn't be bothered to say any more to that child. To Shagu, he said. 
It seems you didn't understand what I meant when I said that you were weaker than him. Novaloon.com in this world, there are two kinds of power. One is your own strength, and one is outer strength. Shaofei's own strength isn't as great as yours, but he has outer strength. Outer strength. Asked a confused Shaoguhi, that outer strength is me. Long Chen lazily smiled and patted himself on the chest. Chapter 795 Mysterious Riddle Translator Born to be it was unknown if it was because the Xiao tribe had been isolated from the outside world for so long, but they didn't really understand Long Chen's words. Long Chen continued, Xiao Fei is one of you indigenous people, and you're all mortal enemies with us outsiders, but his courage to fight and not abandon his companion while being chased down won him my admiration, so I helped him and he became my brother. When my little brother has difficulties, as the big brother, I naturally can't just watch. So, I will take Shaofei's place in this battle. I'm sure you have no problem with that. Right brother, big brother Long Chen. Shaofei hadn't expected Long Chen to look after him so much. His eyes reddened. In the entire Xiao clan, there were few people who would treat him so well. Don't do anything embarrassing. Men should be men. I helped you because you reminded me of my younger self. However, my situation was ten times worse than yours. I can help you once, but next time, you'll have to help yourself. Men can only rely on themselves after all. Long Chen patted Xiao Fei's shoulder. Looking at Xiao Fei, Long Chen felt like he was looking back at his younger self. Although their ages were a bit different, the extent of his plaintive misery was similar to his. One was pushed by his family, and one was pushed by his environment. That feeling was like they were a dog being trapped in an alley. That kind of feeling of having no way out was something that could only be understood through experience. Ha ha ha. Fine. I've long since found you unlikable. Since you want to take Shaofei's place, get over here. Laughed Shaogu a sinister light shone in his eyes. Previously, Long Chen's slap had almost broken his whole head. The pain was one thing, but that humiliation could make a person crazy. When Long Chen first developed his divine face slapping art, he hadn't made it with any intention of killing people. It was a move specialized toward dealing with those arrogant people who liked to cultivate by looking down on others. After so long, it had reached the divine level. Its killing power didn't lay in physical pain, but in ruining that arrogant heart. Long Chen wouldn't easily bring out this face-slapping art to use against just anyone, but some people were just too hateful. Long Chen couldn't even help himself. Don't, Long Chen. Shagu is a late sea expansion expert, and he can release his full power here. He's completely different from when you first encountered him, warned Xiaoling. Long Chen smiled slightly toward her to express his thanks and then turned toward the old tribe leader. Will you allow me to take Xiaofei's place to fight? The old tribe leader hesitated. For an outsider to participate in this kind of battle was extremely inappropriate. He had saved Xiaofei and Xiaoyu, and if he was injured from this, their Xiao tribe would become people who repaid gratitude with enmity. He was just about to open his mouth when the white-eyed elder said, Young people can play around with themselves. The old tribe leader no longer hesitated upon hearing that. Then let's switch locations. This isn't the right place for a fight. Very quickly, Long Chen found himself being brought to a wide space. It was an extremely simple and ordinary land, but it was definitely far enough. He could fight to his heart's content here. Looking at Long Chen, the old tribe leader bitterly smiled to the elder beside him. Old brother. Don't let them play around to the point that my Xiao tribe ends up infamous for being ungracious. I don't have that many years left, and I want to be able to face the ancestors in the future. Don't worry, my heaven eyes are not for nothing. These past few days, I've been feeling uneasy, feeling like something was about to happen. But despite careful calculations, I didn't learn anything. I then suddenly had an impulse to come and see you to reminisce about the old days. But now that this person has appeared, I finally understand that the reason I came was because fate brought me here, said the white-eyed elder. The old tribe leader was startled. Fate brought you here? You mean you've been drawn into this? Doesn't the heavenly tribe cultivate the secret arts to peer into the heavens? How could you be drawn within the scope of the heavenly deos? The heavenly tribe possessed an ancient inheritance. Those who cultivated the heaven eye art all needed to blind their own eyes. That was because the heavenly tribe's people believed that the eyes were the things that tricked people the most. The things they saw were just an appearance, and it was easy to be misled. They took on the position of spectators in the world. The heavenly tribe's experts could divine fate, so their position was extremely high, but they rarely divined anything for other people. That was because they considered themselves people outside the heavenly deos. 
they couldn't interfere in the matters of the heavenly deos, or they would invoke karma, that karma would definitely come at a price. The heavenly deos? He, everyone says that they cultivate the deo, but by the end, they don't even know what deo they're cultivating. How could we vainly discuss the heavenly deos? My heavenly tribe is just a branch from the ancestors. The cultivation technique we have is incomplete, so our skills are limited. You've overestimating me. According to my understanding, escaping from the heavenly deos is like a chess piece that jumps off the chessboard, only to find that they are a chess piece on an even larger chessboard. This chess piece might have clearly seen its original chessboard, but it's unable to see the bigger chessboard. So no matter how we cultivate, we're all on that chessboard. When I saw this youth called Long Chen, I suddenly thought of a certain thing. Do you still remember that legend asked the elder? Are you talking about the words your heavenly tribe's ancestor left behind before ascending? Asked the old tribe leader. The white-eyed elder nodded. Yes, right before the old tribe leader ascended, he left behind four lines. The dragon swims through the mortal world. The immemorial revives. Lightning breaks the sky. The end of the ten worlds. Although the ancestor ascended countless years ago, no one managed to comprehend the true meaning behind his last words. That ancestor was someone who personally witnessed the destruction of the immemorial path. His last words have to have some meaning. Furthermore, the legends say that the ancestor was in the midst of divining something when he hurriedly recited those lines and completely ascended away. The old tribe leader quietly recited, The dragon swims through the mortal world. The immemorial revives. Lightning breaks the sky. The end of the ten worlds. The dragon swims through the mortal world. The dragon swims through the mortal world. Long Chen. The old tribe leader was startled. Did that line really refer to Long Chen? It's too early to say anything now. It could just be a coincidence. But when the ancestor ascended, he was extremely hurried. He didn't leave behind any clues. Even after all this time, no one understands the meaning. As for this Long Chen, it's true that he came a bit out of nowhere. But there's nothing strange to it. To put it according to my heavenly tribe's viewpoint, understanding the past from the consequences is easy. It's predicting the consequences of the past that is difficult. There are thousands of possibilities. A single change can bring forth countless possibilities, said the white-eyed elder. Then are you saying that Long Chen's arrival here is due to the unseen hand of fate? I wouldn't dare to say something like that so early on. So we should just continue watching. If Long Chen really is the one the ancestor's words foretold, then he is also the key to solving the riddle of his final words. The white-eyed elder looked at Long Chen. Countless red strands condensed within his eyes, slowly forming red pupils. Long Chen and Xiao Gu were looking at each other. In the distance, Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu were tightly clenching their fists. They were nervous for Long Chen. Here in their homeland, Xiao Gu would be able to release 100% of his strength. Xiao Ling was also worried. She had never expected things to reach this point. This was completely out of her prediction. She had thought that since Long Chen had saved Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu, and especially since Xiao Fei was the future tribe leader, he would be rewarded by the tribe with some compensation and perhaps some help regarding the immemorial path. In the end, everyone would be happy, and the Xiao tribe wouldn't owe him anything. But now, for Xiao Fei, Long Chen was actually fighting their Xiao tribe's strongest junior generation member. Things had progressed completely out of her control. Long Chen, now I'll return the humiliation you've given me ten times. But don't worry, I won't kill you. That is our Xiao tribe's pride. Ha ha ha, sneered Xiao Gu within his generation. Other than Xiao Ling, there was no one else that could fight him. So he always considered himself as the future leader of the Xiao tribe. That was also why he continuously suppressed Xiao Fei. As for the higher ups, they silently accepted his actions in order to motivate Xiao Fei and see if he could awaken his latent power. Unfortunately, Xiao Fei's potential continued to remain dormant after all this time. Their hopes for him were growing remote. During this time, Xiao Gu had raised his reputation in the tribe and was already the junior generation's leader. So of course his pride was provoked back when Long Chen had almost killed him. The suppression of the heavenly deos had weakened him, and if it hadn't been for Xiao Fei's shout, he would already be dead. That was his greatest setback. Then, upon returning to the tribe, Long Chen had slapped him in the face. That had destroyed any bit of his remaining pride. Although he couldn't kill Long Chen with the old tribe leader present. He had already thought things through. He would completely humiliate Long Chen. He would make him kneel on the ground and beg for mercy. A sinister light shone in his eyes. He could already see the scene of Long Chen kneeling and begging him. Just looking at Xiao Gu's sinister smile, 
Long Chen knew exactly what he was thinking. He sneered. You can also be at ease, because I also won't kill you. After all, I disdain killing petty people like you. His words immediately caused quite a few people's expressions to change. He was intentionally provoking Xiaogu if Xiaogu accidentally killed him. Then the Xiao tribe's name would be tarnished. Courting death, as expected, Xiaogu immediately became enraged. His aura erupted and the space behind him trembled. An illusory scene of a 30-mile sea appeared. A projection of the key sea. Only a celestial could summon such a clear projection. That sea was a reflection of his true key sea. It was the specific manifestation of a sea expansion expert. When their full strength erupted, their key sea would also surge, forming a link with heaven and earth, giving them the greatest possible strength. An ordinary Xi'anchen expert's key sea would only be a few dozen meters wide. But once they reached sea expansion, through constant expansion, they could increase that by tens or even hundreds of times. Naturally, an increase in the size of the key sea represented an increase in spiritual yuan. In the Xi'anchen realm, due to a lack of spiritual yuan, it would be difficult to release powerful moves. But sea expansion experts could release those moves easily. Now, Xiaogu had released his aura, and runes began to surge around him, scouring heaven and earth. His spear pierced toward Long Chen. Recall that Long equals dragon and Chen equals dust as in the dust of the mortal world. Chapter 796 Incomparably domineering translator. Born to be seeing Xiaogu's erupting aura, Long Chen was filled with battle intent. This was his first time fighting a sea expansion celestial. The blood kill halls Wang Junmo had managed to kill dozens of sea expansion celestials. That was enough to prove that he was a terrifying expert. Now, facing Xiaogu. Long Chen's battle intent was provoked. This was a test for him. This would allow him to learn the difference between him and Wang Junmo. Although he had exchanged blows with Zhu Yu, neither of them had been in their peak state. That battle didn't count. One reason he was fighting Xiaogu was because he was an idiot who kept targeting him. And another reason was for Xiao Fei. But the main reason was to test his own power. Divine Ring. His Divine Ring erupted into existence, causing a resonance between heaven and earth. A powerful aura soared into the sky, shaking the land. Everyone, including the old tribe leader and the white-eyed elder, was shocked. They had never seen such a technique. Split the heavens. Facing a sea expansion celestial, Long Chen immediately started fighting all out. A saber image tore into the sky. It was like space was being torn apart, and raging key waves erupted as it slashed down on Xiaogu break. Xiaogu roared, and the sound of the raging sea waves came from the manifestation behind him. Boom. An immense explosion erupted when his spear struck that saber. Just the sound wave caused some people to almost faint. This caused those tribesmen to be startled. This place might appear simple, but there were ancient formations present that restricted the shock waves. Otherwise, they wouldn't have them fight here. But even so, enough of their power still went through the formations to shake the weaker disciples into turning pale and retreating. What a terrifying will. Does he walk the undefeatable Dao? The old tribe leader was startled. Although he was near his death, his vision was still sharp. He saw the undefeatable will that came from deep within Long Chen. In front of that will, it was like all worlds would have to lower their heads to him, as if the nine heavens and ten lands would have to crawl beneath his feet. It was terrifying, but the undefeatable Dao was also something impossible to tread to the end. After all, just who could manage to reach the level above the heavens? Its aura is similar, but it's different. That isn't a will to stand above the heavens but a powerful desire to exterminate all worlds, said the white-eyed elder. From the start, the red light in his eyes had been focused on Long Chen. The old tribe leader was startled. The heavenly tribe's people rarely looked at people with their naked eyes. As for this old man, he was an exceedingly terrifying figure. He was actually unstintingly using up his core energy to activate his heaven eyes to keep watch on Long Chen's movements. He clearly viewed him importantly. Looking at the domineering Long Chen who appeared godlike under his divine ring, Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu's eyes shone with worship. With his powerful will surging out of him, each one of Long Chen's movements, whether it was the single glance or a single hair flying in the wind, appeared exceedingly domineering. Let alone two youngsters like Xiao Fei and Xiao Yu, even the tribe elders had never seen such a domineering person. Just watching him fight made them feel like their blood was boiling. The only person who didn't feel that way was Xiao Gu, not only that but his blood didn't feel hot at all. His heart became icy cold. As soon as he exchanged blows with Long Chen, he felt like he was no longer fighting a human, but a supreme god. He was completely suppressed by Long Chen's imposingness and was unable to fully release his power. 
Long Chen's gaze was like a sharp blade icily staring at Xiaogu. His saber was still locked against his spear. You only have this little ability? You're much weaker than I thought. Long Chen frowned. Xiaogu was intimidated by his will and had become timid. He was actually such a coward. Bullshit. Don't think that you can look down on me. Xiaogu. Roared Xiaogu furiously. Long Chen's words were like another slap in his face. His fury caused him to forget his trepidation. He increased the power of his spear wanting to send Long Chen flying. But even when wielding his saber with one hand, Long Chen was immovable. No matter how Xiaogu tried, he wasn't able to budge him. Xiaogu's fury soared. Although it was just one move, he was immediately suppressed. Thinking of his big words, he roared, his veins bulging and his power leaping again. Boom. Following Xiaogu's increase in power, the ground beneath them started to crack, and the cracks rapidly spread. Heavens, what level of power is this? Even the formations are losing effect. The junior generation of the Xiao tribe were all shocked. Big brother Long Chen is too strong. Xiao Yu covered her mouth, filled with worship. The image of this domineering Long Chen was deeply imprinted in her mind now. She would never be able to forget it. The ground was constantly shaking as their auras grew stronger and stronger. The disciples instinctively retreated further and further away, feeling an intense danger. But Long Chen still wasn't moving. He was still using only one hand. No matter how the ground crumbled, no matter how Xiaogu struggled, he was still steady. Long Chen's cultivation base had reached the 10th heaven stage of Xi'anshan, and the Enlightenment Palace star had reached the third transformation. His power had exceeded his own expectations. This Long Chen hasn't even summoned his heavenly Dao runes yet. He's shockingly powerful, cried the old tribe leader. Someone like him isn't able to condense heavenly Dao runes, and even if he could, he would disdain using that move. His Dao is different from everyone else's. Even though I've cultivated my heaven eyes to the fourth realm, I still can't clearly see his Dao. This means he walks an extremely unorthodox path. Such a person will either be destroyed by the heavenly Daos, or destroy the heavenly Daos. There's no third option. The red light in the white-eyed elder's eye suddenly grew to a frightening brilliance before he suddenly closed his eyes. Two streams of blood flowed out. You, it's fine. It's just regretful that not only am I unable to see his past, but I am also unable to see his future. I even ended up with a backlash and won't be able to use these eyes for a while, said the white-haired elder calmly. He then laughed. But, he, this is a good thing. The more mysterious this Long Chen's origins are, the more likely he is related to the ancestor's words. Perhaps he'll be able to solve that riddle. To gain that in exchange for losing these eyes for a few decades is worth it. As the white-eyed elder spoke with the old tribe leader, Xiaogu had finally reached a berserk point. He was unable to accept this reality. Divine C. Return. The key C manifestation behind Xiaogu suddenly flowed back into his body. His manifestation disappeared, but it was like a volcano was erupting within Xiaogu boom. Long Chen was startled. An immense power sent him flying. So C expansion celestials actually had such a technique. Although he had never seen this move before. He instantly understood its purpose. While the key C's manifestation was outside, it was like a separate body. The projection was used to absorb energy from the outside world. That way the C expansion expert would theoretically have access to an inexhaustible source of energy. But another purpose of this manifestation was to bring it back into the body, and any energy that had been absorbed and stored within it would instantly enter the body and allow the user to release an immense power. Xiaogu had done this, allowing him to release unprecedented power. But the flaw of this move was that he had lost access to that inexhaustible source of energy from the outside world. Furthermore, once he used this move, there was no way he could bring out his manifestation again in the short term. Originally, Xiaogu had been planning on having an immense battle against Long Chen and slowly showing his powerful techniques. But then he had been suppressed in the beginning, and nothing he had tried had managed to reverse the tides. So he had been forced to use his final technique. Xiaogu's wings shook and he went after Long Chen. Countless spear images shot out from his spear. There were tens of thousands of spear images that filled the entire sky. A terrifying pressure caused space to tremble. Thousand spears pierced the soul. Those spear images actually began to superimpose, condensing into his original spear. That spear's aura immediately shot up. Now it's troublesome. Xiaogu's mastery of this move has actually reached such a level. Furthermore, with his divine sea manifestation returning within him, this attack will one-shot Long Chen. The old tribe leader was extremely startled. 
he hadn't expected that Shagu would actually be able to reach the major mastery level of this technique with just the talent of a rank 1 celestial. There was no choice but to admit that he really was a genius. Don't worry, there definitely won't be any problem. If even I couldn't see his past or future, how could he die so easily? Said the white-eyed elder calmly. His eyes were still closed. At this moment, the final spear image finished merging into his spear. Shagu roared and his spear pierced through space. With endless killing intent, it stabbed toward Long Chen. The instant he released this move, all the spectators felt a chill. Looking at this incomparably terrifying spear, battle intent soared out of Long Chen. He slowly raised his saber. His spiritual Yuan instantly passed through 18 acupuncture points, and saw bare key sword. Split the heavens too. Chapter 797 7 Star Sea Lock Translator Born to be even the sun lost its brightness in front of that saber. Its aura was one that enveloped all of heaven and earth. The experts from the Shao tribe were all appalled. It wasn't just that saber's aura that was shocking. The most terrifying part about it was that it contained a will to shatter the restrictions of heaven and earth. In front of that will, anyone would feel like an ant. Boom. The saber image and spear image collided, and space let out a strange sound. A sound like something was shattering. Following that, a horrifying pressure descended that caused everyone's expressions to change. Long Chen and Xiao Gu's power had already surpassed the limit of what the barrier could tolerate. Their auras broke past the formations and charged forth. Any Xi'anchen disciples would be directly crushed apart by it. It was at this moment that two of the Xiao tribe's elders took action. Runes flickered into existence, forming a huge barrier around everyone. Gale winds whistled past the barrier. The winds were like blades, and everyone winced whenever they clashed against the barrier. The two of them who had formed this defense were ancestor experts. However, even they were unable to block the piercing sound from that attack. The dust scattered, revealing Long Chen standing with his saber resting on his shoulder. His divine ring was still behind him, making him look like a god overlooking the rest of the world. There was a huge gorge in front of him, and at the end of that gorge was Shagu who was miserably crawling up, wildly vomiting blood. His spear had been completely destroyed. Everyone was silent, having never expected that someone as powerful as Shagu would be so cleanly defeated. From the start, Long Chen had only used two moves. The first move had suppressed Shagu, and the second move had defeated him. Everything had happened so quickly that it felt like it hadn't even started before it had ended. As expected, upon reaching the 10th heaven stage, my spiritual Yuan has increased immensely. Not only has split the heavens increased in power, but I also don't have to kneel like a dog after I use it, thought Long Chen, while cultivating the nine-star hegemon body art. The differences between the first nine heaven stages weren't so great, but after the tenth heaven stage, each level was practically a qualitative change. Just now, his usage of the second form of split the heavens had been twice as strong as when he had previously used it, and it had only used up 40% of his power. Most importantly, he hadn't even brought out the four-star battle armor. He had wanted to test out this move before using that, but he hadn't expected that Shagu would be defeated just from this testing move. In truth, Long Chen had forgotten one thing. He had drunk over 10 bowls of peak grade divine mortal molting elixir within the trial cave, allowing his body to reach a flawless point. His power had unconsciously risen a great deal. Shagu coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. This attack had almost caused his body to break apart, and his internal injuries were extremely heavy. But as a celestial, he could still heal these injuries by sacrificing his core energy. However, while he could recover from his injuries, he couldn't recover his spiritual yuan so quickly. He had already used his trump card of returning his key C projection within him. Therefore, he wasn't able to summon the manifestation of his key C again for a while. Without that, what was he supposed to use to fight Long Chen? This time, Xiaogu's defeat ring was absolute. There was nothing he could say against him. Looking at Long Chen, he took a deep breath and said, I've lost. Long Chen nodded. Not bad. You actually admitted defeat Ring instead of trying to find a bunch of excuses or cursing. You can still count as a man. Others didn't feel anything when he said this. But Shagu felt a chill inside. Just now, he really had been thinking about cursing him or finding an excuse. Then he would provoke the tribe's fury and borrow that fury to kill Long Chen. But then seeing Long Chen's calm face, he felt that to be a bit frightening. So he just obediently admitted defeaturing Shagu. You're too narrow-minded. If you were the tribe leader, the entire Xiao tribe would be affected by your attitude, and they would start viewing everyone else as beneath them. If you were a true expert, then that would be one thing.
because you could subdue all the surrounding powers to satisfy your desires. Perhaps then you really could lead the Shao tribe to an unprecedented glory. Regretfully, you will never be able to become a true expert, because you don't know what makes a true expert, said Long Chen lightly. No one said anything, not even the elders. Only Long Chen's words continued to echo. Xiao Gu was infuriated upon hearing Long Chen say that he would never become an expert, but he quickly suppressed his fury. Xiao Fei, come over here. Long Chen beckoned. Xiao Fei hastily ran over. He looked at Long Chen with worship. In his eyes, Long Chen was a god. Close your eyes, said Long Chen. Although he didn't know what he wanted, Xiao Fei obediently closed his eyes. Long Chen pressed his finger to Xiao Fei's forehead. Xiao Fei's body immediately stiffened and became completely motionless. What? Long Chen, how dare you kill him? Everyone saw that Xiao Fei's spiritual aura completely vanished. In this world, only dead people didn't have spiritual auras. Just as everyone was about to go all out against Long Chen, the old tribe leader shouted, Shut up, just watch, Xiao Fei is fine. Only then did everyone halt, but they still found that they were unable to sense Xiao Fei's soul. They couldn't help being bewildered. The old tribe leader might not have much time left but his vision wasn't something an ordinary person could compare to. He knew that Long Chen had used some sort of special technique to seal Xiao Fei's soul, making him enter a state of quasi-death. Although he didn't know what he was doing, he felt that Long Chen wouldn't be so stupid. Not even an idiot would be so stupid as to kill a tribe member here in their homeland. Long Chen's actions caused Xiao Yu and Xiao Ling to jump in fright, but they also believed that Long Chen wouldn't harm Xiao Fei. Xiao Fei was standing motionless. Long Chen's gaze swept over the Xiao tribe's people. In the end, his gaze landed on the elders. The reason Xiao Fei was unable to awaken the energy within him isn't his fault, but yours. You were the ones who mislead your disciple those elders' expressions sank. This Long Chen was truly too arrogant. He didn't even give them any face. There's no need to look at me like this. I rarely say anything wrong, because I don't like slapping my own face. Long Chen turned to look at Xiao Fei. Perhaps you don't want to accept what I just said. Then I'll let you properly see what the requirement to be an expert is. Long Chen pressed his finger seven times around Xiao Fei's danshan. The old tribe leader couldn't help but cry. The seven star sea lock. What is he doing? He's helping Xiao Fei activate the energy within him, said the white-eyed elder. But, to activate it, the first requirement is to activate the danshan. Why would he seal Xiao Fei's danshan instead? Asked the old tribe leader. Who knows? But I'm confident Long Chen is definitely trying to activate the energy within Xiao Fei's danshan. As for what method he's using, no one knows. This Long Chen is very strange. Although he's young, his realm is frighteningly high. There are no openings in any aspect of him for me to see through. He's a monster. I've never seen such a youth. Sighed the white-eyed elder. The heavenly tribe's strongest aspect was their ability to judge a person and see their past and future. Sometimes. They would help some tribes pick out disciples with immense potential. They practically never misjudged anyone. The white-eyed elder's status was particularly transcendent in his tribe. He had inspected countless people in his life, but he had run into a wall with Long Chen. Although I feel like a bit of a poser like this, I still advise you all to watch carefully. This might bring you endless benefits. After saying that, Long Chen began to circulate his spiritual strength. Xiao Fei's quasi-dead soul began to slowly revive. Black clouds shroud the sky in darkness. A storm of rain pours down. Millions of invaders are pouring into the Xiao tribe. Bloody blades in their hands. Long Chen's soft voice resounded throughout their ears. Their hearts shook. As Long Chen spoke, they were drawn into a scene. The Xiao tribe was covered in black clouds releasing a torrent of rain. They could feel a bone-chilling iciness. They saw countless fierce invaders smiling sinisterly as they charged toward them. They were horrified and they hastily looked up. They saw that the sun was still burning brightly above them. There were no clouds at all. What profound spiritual strength, exclaimed one of the ancestor elders. Even he didn't have such robust spiritual strength. At the same time, they all realized Long Chen was using a hypnotic art on Xiao Fei. But Long Chen's spiritual strength was so powerful that even they were affected. The enemies are very fierce and strong. We can't stop their merciless slaughter. We can only watch as our tribesmen fall one by one. Xiao Fei's body began to shudder. Terror and fury surged out of him. The elders have fallen. The old tribe leader has also been killed. Sister Ling also died to protect everyone. Xiao Yu took a saber to protect you. Her blood still dyes your clothes scarlet. Her eyes are full of longing. No, 
Xiao Fei suddenly let out a heart-rending cry. Blood flowed out of his mouth from clenching his teeth too hard. The old tribe leader and the white-eyed elder finally nodded, realizing exactly what method Long Chen was using to activate the energy within Xiao Fei's danshan. Chapter 798 Reward Translator Born to be no. I'll kill all those broods, roared Xiao Fei. His veins were bulging, his face twisted, and blood kept leaking out of the corner of his mouth. His gums had been split from clenching his teeth so hard, but he didn't notice. His whole body was trembling, but he was unable to move. It was like he was in a nightmare. Kill? What will you use to kill them? The enemies are so strong that even the elders weren't able to stop them. Do you think you, a rank 1 celestial, can stop them? You are just an ant in front of those invaders. You don't have the slightest ability to resist. Blood has dyed the land, and corpses litter the ground. Their eyes are full of unwillingness. The only ones left are you and Ant King. Ant King is heavily injured and on the ground. She looks at you with worry. Long Chen's soft voice resounded throughout. Although they knew he was using a hypnotic art, Long Chen's spiritual strength was too strong. Even though he wasn't focusing on them, they were infected by his voice. The scene of the Xiao tribe's destruction appeared in front of them. The Xiao tribe's warriors all erupted with battle intent, fury soaring in their eyes. Some disciples even automatically activated their cries of the heavenly deos. Long Chen's hypnotism was just too strong. Some of the weaker disciples had to be held back by other experts. Chaos raged. They had never experienced such a thing. Even wide awake, they were hypnotized. It was obvious just how realistic the illusion Xiao Fei was under was. As Long Chen spoke, scene after scene played in Xiao Fei's head, spurring his emotions. Everything was incomparably real to him. Don't come here, Xiao Fei suddenly shouted. His arms opened. From his posture, it seemed like he was protecting Ant King behind him. You're doing your best, but you're still too weak. You're unable to defeat your entire enemies. You can only watch as the evil invaders get closer and closer to Ant King. Seeing Xiao Fei move, Long Chen's eyes brightened. His voice became even softer. No, you can't hurt Ant King. Xiao Fei crazily roared, his arms waving through the air as if he was fighting back enemies. Do you want to get stronger? Long Chen's voice suddenly changed. He sounded holy and divine now, and absolutely unquestionable. I want to get stronger. I want to kill all of them. Xiao Fei continued to crazily swing his arms. There is a treasure house within your danshan. If you open it, you'll immediately become stronger. Strong enough to kill all these powerful enemies. Strong enough to protect your Ant King, said Long Chen. I can't open it. I've tried for ten years, but it still won't happen. What am I supposed to do? Roared Xiao Fei, his voice full of pain and panic. Long Chen sighed and turned to look at the old tribe leader and the elders. Those people all felt a burning sensation on their faces. In these past ten years, they had always been pushing Xiao Fei to get stronger. As a result, it had caused a heart devil to form within Xiao Fei, and he had no hopes of opening his danshan anymore. That had added another layer of locks over his power, that made them turn red to the tips of their ears. They were filled with regret. If it weren't for that extra lock, Xiao Fei could have very likely awakened his energy just now from Long Chen's guidance. They hated themselves for being too inflexible, for being so hidebound. If they had tried the method Long Chen was using, perhaps Xiao Fei would have long since awakened his power. Now seeing that Xiao Fei had failed at this step, they had an urge to find a hole and bury themselves. Long Chen's previous ridicule hadn't been wrong. It was their fault. They had misled their disciple. Long Chen also hadn't expected Xiao Fei to have a heart devil at such a young age. Now it was a bit more problematic. But since things had reached this point, he definitely couldn't give up now. You couldn't open it before, but that doesn't mean you can't open it now. Quickly, Ant King's life is in your hands. A trace of urgency entered Long Chen's voice. He needed to test whether or not the suppressed energy within Xiao Fei could be released. I want to save Ant King, roared Xiao Fei. He tried to connect with his danshan. But after several failures, Xiao Fei's aura began to turn chaotic. Long Chen, Xiao Fei will end up crazy if this continues, warned one elder. Shut up, Long Chen shouted coldly. If it weren't for them having given Xiao Fei such a powerful heart devil, why would he have to do so much work? If he doesn't succeed, what about his face? Finding excuses wasn't Long Chen's style. Xiao Fei, I am Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly changed tones again. Brother Long, save me. Xiao Fei was delighted to hear Long Chen's voice. His chaotic aura slowly calmed down, and the signs of him growing bedeviled faded. I can't help you. The only one who can help you is yourself, 
said Long Chen. But, there are no bots. Do you trust me? Asked Long Chen. Yes, then good. Listen carefully. There is immense power within your dantian. It is heavily locked right now and can't be opened. But with so many enemies before you, you must open it. That's the only way you can protect Ant King. The ways you tried to open it before were wrong. Now I'll teach you the correct method. Insert your spiritual strength into your dantian. Use the same method you used to try to open it before. But for the last step, switch your left and right spiritual hands. Concentrate. Feel your energy constantly condensing. Condensing. Condensing until all that energy is within your hands. Said Long Chen. The elders couldn't help being stunned. The method they had taught him was wrong? The crucial point lay in the final point? Big brother Long Chen. It's still not working. Said Xiao Fei. Very good. Xiao Fei. You've already condensed a hundred percent of your energy. But to activate your potential, you need to condense a hundred and twenty percent. Said Long Chen. A hundred and twenty percent? How was that possible? Everyone was stunned. If you don't know where that energy comes from, look back at Aunt King behind you. She's looking at you with worry, but also encouragement. She isn't worried about her own life, but yours. Are you really willing to let her fall to the hands of your enemies? Let your fury rage. You are a man. Show your domineeringness. You can release your greatest power when you want to protect the people you care about. Show your fangs. Release your roar. Make the mountains crumble beneath your feet. Make your enemy's souls dissipate. To protect Ant King, you feel no fear inside. What are you still waiting for? Explode with your power. Open the seal. Long Chen's voice grew louder and louder. It resonated with heaven and earth. It was like the roar of gods. And everyone present was infected by it. Their blood began to boil. And battle intent surged out of them. Seal. Open. What startled everyone was that Xiao Fei suddenly opened his eyes. His eyes were completely scarlet like the eyes of a devil. His roar shook the heaven. This. This is the revival of the ancestor's bloodline. The old tribe leader shot up. His body trembling. Boom. Xiao Fei's runes surged out of him. They were like huge rivers surging into the dome of the sky. A terrifying pressure descended. Every member of the Xiao tribe, other than the old tribe leader, knelt on the ground, looking at him excitedly. Long Chen thought they were being grateful to him. But then he realized they had been affected by this bloodline inheritance. Runes of three colors formed a huge image behind Xiao Fei. That image was a bit indistinct. So it wasn't possible to see what it clearly was. The tribe diagram. It's actually the tribe diagram. The old tribe leader was so moved that tears began to flow out of his old eyes. Don't get too excited. Or it'll shorten your lifespan. Advised the white-eyed elder. He. Xiao Fei has awakened as a rank 3 celestial. And he's also revived the long-lost tribe diagram. Even if I died right now, I'd be happy, said the old tribe leader. He was unable to suppress his excitement. Your enemies are annihilated. You can sleep. When you awaken, everything will be in the past and seem like a dream. When you awaken from your dream, everything will be very normal. You'll find that everyone in the tribe is alive. Ant King is by your side. They're all looking after you, said Long Chen softly. Xiao Fei's furious aura calmed down and he slowly closed his scarlet eyes. He collapsed into Shaoling's arms. Long Chen, you're our Shao tribe's greatest benefactor. Please accept this. Shaoling actually knelt just like that toward Long Chen. It wasn't just Shaoling. Long Chen was startled to see even the old tribe leader kneel. Long Chen hastily ran forward and pulled the old tribe leader up. You're shortening my longevity, complained Long Chen. In truth, he very much disliked this kind of etiquette. Other than parents and heaven and earth. How could you kneel to anyone else? Novaloon.com The old tribe leader saw through Long Chen's intentions and said, We must kneel to express our gratitude. You don't know just how much you've done for our Xiao tribe. You must accept this gratitude. No, you should all get up. I only kneel to my parents. As for heaven and earth. Haha, <laughs> let's not talk about that. Xiao Fei is fine. And I'm also very busy. To tell the truth, I urgently need a detailed map of the immemorial path and any areas with value laughed Long Chen. He found that his face was becoming thicker by the day. He directly asked for the benefits without feeling the slightest embarrassment. Ha ha ha. How could just a map express our Xiao tribe's gratitude? Long Chen. Stay for a few days so we can properly thank you. Laughed the old tribe leader. Chapter 799 Secrets of the Immemorial Path Translator. Born to be Long Chen stayed behind. The gratitude the Xiao tribe felt toward him could no longer be expressed with words. Even Xiao Gu had respectfully came up to Long Chen and apologized. Although he was a narrow-minded person and intolerant, 
As soon as someone suppressed him, he wouldn't cause any waves. Furthermore, he was still a member of the Shao tribe. The tribe's glory was his glory. Perhaps he would become a capable subordinate to Shao Fei in the future. Following this, the Shao tribe entered a state of celebration. Long Chen found it curious that so many women and children suddenly appeared in the Shao tribe. Xiao Yu told Long Chen that each time the immemorial path was opened, they would send away some of their people, leaving behind only the stronger ones. They had only been called back now that Xiao Fei had awakened as a rank 3 celestial so that they could all celebrate. The next day, Xiao Fei woke up. He looked refreshed and radiant, no longer appearing like his previous weak and feeble self. Even his gaze had become sharper and contained a slight domineering aspect. At the same time as Xiao Fei came out, a woman in her thirties also followed. She was the one Xiao Fei called Ant King, and the one he viewed as close as a mother. She had already used the seven-star red spider lily nectar to temporarily suppress the pain of her soul, and so she had awakened from her semi-conscious state. When she had learned of what had happened with Xiao Fei, she had come out with him to express her thanks. You're too courteous, Ant King. This was all thanks to Xiao Fei, and don't criticize him. He's a man now one capable of bearing the responsibility of his own actions. Long Chen smiled. It's true, Ant King. Big brother Long Chen said I'm a man, so you don't need to scold me anymore. Xiao Fei followed up. When Ant King had first learned that Xiao Fei had risked his life to relieve her pain, she had been gratified and enraged. First, she had scolded Xiao Fei viciously, but then she had softened. Ant King, you failed to attack foundation forging, but your immortal platform is still there. I'll refine some pills for you that will allow you to directly reach foundation forging, said Long Chen. Really? Do you know alchemy? Asked Ant King. A bit, laughed Long Chen. That's great. Our Xiao tribe will have another ancestor level expert, said Xiao Fei excitedly. However, because you'll be relying on medicinal energy to make up for your failure, your power will be a bit lacking compared to those who flawlessly advanced. Furthermore, the foundation forging realm is different from other realms. Once there's a flaw, it can't be fixed. It's very likely you'll never be able to advance to the king level, said Long Chen. You don't need to worry about that. The immemorial path has its own laws. The people here cannot advance to become kings, said Ant King. Long Chen was startled. How was it that the immemorial path was so strange? It was clearly its own world. So why were there such strange laws that didn't allow people to progress? Long Chen, the old tribe leader is calling for you said a disciple from the Xiao tribe respectfully. Long Chen was an honored guest of the Xiao tribe now. Even elders would bow when they saw him and treat him respectfully. Long Chen still wasn't used to it. Following that disciple, he arrived at the old tribe leader's residence. Within a large room, the old tribe leader and the white-eyed elder were sitting on a blanket. Please, sit. The old tribe leader smiled. He, one of my strong points is not standing on courtesy, laughed Long Chen. Just like that, he sat. Please don't be offended by my eyes. I have an illness and can't open them, explained the white-eyed elder. You're too courteous. By closing your eyes, you'll seem more amiable, said Long Chen humbly. But as soon as he said it, he regretted it. He had become stupid again. The white-eyed elder bitterly smiled. Are you cursing us in a roundabout way, saying that we look sinister with our eyes open? Long Chen was about to explain when the old tribe leader said, Don't be nervous. We don't treat you as an outsider. We just want to chat and learn about the outside world situation. Speaking of which, which world do you come from? Long Chen was startled. Which world? I don't really know. Then what is the main landmass of your world called? I've heard that it's called the Martial Heaven Continent, said Long Chen. Unsure. The Martial Heaven Continent should also have been affected by that battle. It should be broken. Correct. Asked the old tribe leader. I'm not too sure. I've heard that it was originally one piece but later it was broken into five pieces, said Long Chen. He didn't know much about this topic, as he hadn't reached the level where he could come into access with that information. The Martial Heaven Continent gave birth to quite a few famous figures before the immemorial path crumbled. Those brilliant figures were peak existences in their realm. They left behind illustrious records. If you could continue to the end of the path, you would see a huge stell with their names carved into it. Only the strongest experts had that qualification. Regretfully, now that the path is broken, you can't reach the stell. You can only look at its projection from afar, sighed the old tribe leader. Can you tell me more about the immemorial path? In truth, I'm actually very curious about it, said Long Chen. Of course, I called you here just to talk about that. 
but the story is a bit long. The old tribe leader began to tell Long Chen secrets. Secrets that gave Long Chen an immense fright. He hadn't expected the immemorial path to have such shocking origins. The immemorial path was originally its own world. But during the immortal era, top experts changed it into a trial region. It was connected to eight surrounding worlds. And Long Chen's martial heaven continent was one of them. That shocked Long Chen immensely. Eight world's top disciples were actually sent here. Then just how shocking had the immemorial path been back then? But according to the old tribe leader, the immortal era had been an extremely glorious age. It was said that the immemorial path was built by true gods, and the secret to becoming an immortal or god was within this world. But later, an immense battle had been fought. The immemorial path had shattered, because it had been too long. The details of that fight were unknown. It was rumored that it had been a battle of gods and devils. The old tribe leader said that their Shao tribe had just been one of the troops sent to guard the immemorial path back then during ordinary times. They were in charge of one of the trial regions and maintaining order. But after that immense battle, everything had changed. Their connection to the outside world had been lost. And the thing that made them despair was that anyone at the king level or above had their vitality rapidly stripped away. And they died in just a few years. Then, the most alarming thing was that whenever the immemorial path was opened again, they found themselves under a curse. And their combat strength was greatly reduced. Those people who came saw them and tried to force them to tell them the secrets of the various trials. They also forced them to hand over the Yuan Spirit Stones that were only available within the Immemorial Path. Those Yuan Spirit Stones were different from the outside world Spirit Stones. They contained the most primal energy from the very beginning of the birth of the world. In other words, the Aura of Primal Chaos, which was sometimes called Yuan Spirit Energy. Yuan Spirit Stones were priceless treasures in the outside world. The spiritual key within them could not only allow someone to rapidly cultivate, but it would also allow them to comprehend the world's most core energy, allowing them to get closer to the Dao. They were treasures that sea expansion experts would long for in their dreams. Long Chen actually hadn't heard of Yuan Spirit Stones before. That was enough to prove how exceedingly rare they were on the Martial Heaven continent. According to the old tribe leader, once the core of the world was damaged, it would be impossible for it to birth new Yuan Spirit Stones. The core of the world was actually the first portion formed during the birth of the world. It was like the embryo of a baby, and it was where the purest energy was hidden. Once the core was damaged, the world would use all of its energy on repairing the core, which made the spiritual key in the land sparser. As for Yuan spiritual key, it was absorbed by the world to the point that not the slightest wisp of it remained. Thus, there was no way to condense Yuan spirit stones. Hearing that, Long Chen was incredibly shocked. It was no wonder all the indigenous people of the immemorial path awakened as celestials. It was because of that Yuan spiritual key. In the immortal era, the spiritual key of the world had been condensed to the peak. Any cultivator with the slightest talent had the ability to ascend. According to the old tribe leader, those weren't rumors, but the truth. Long Chen was extremely curious just what kind of battle could cause worlds to shatter and injure their cores. If they were capable of injuring the core. Then wouldn't that mean they were capable of destroying the entire world? Just what level of power was capable of that? But the old tribe leader knew very little about that immense battle, as it had happened too long ago. Many things were unknown, and if they weren't sure, they wouldn't add in their guesses. After passing through countless mouths, facts could become rumors and rumors could become fact. The true history had been completely submerged by those who only knew how to run their mouths. Those people truly were amazing. They stood at the front of the streets, crying out their truth with such passion and intensity that it was like they had personally witnessed all of it. In the Phoenix Cry Empire, Long Chen had seen many such people, thinking themselves erudite and wanting to stand in the spotlight. They threw out shocking facts that drew people's attention. The old tribe leader's narrative was based only on absolute fact. From him, Long Chen learned the general origin of the immemorial path. As for some unclear aspects, it would be up to Long Chen to find the truth. Later, why did the aboriginals become mortal enemies with the disciples who came to take the trials? Asked Long Chen. This was the question he was more concerned with. Chapter 800 Yuan Spirit Stones Translator Born to be when Long Chen raised this question, the old tribe leader sighed. The cause of conflict is always due to profit. In pursuit of the greatest profit, people are capable of committing all kinds of crimes. When the immemorial path was shattered, the aboriginals of the path had essentially been abandoned. They had been sent to guard this place since the beginning of the immemorial path. They had taken root, 
giving birth to generation after generation, and kept the order of this place, but their inheritance could only count as average. Once the immemorial path crumbled, they immediately lost what they depended on the most, with no one to look after them. These aboriginals panicked. After centuries of chaos, they finally came to accept that they were trapped, sealed within the immemorial path. They had lost all contact with the outside world, but just as they had begun to gradually accustom themselves to this new life, trial takers from the outside suddenly appeared again, that delighted them originally. They had thought they would finally be able to communicate with the outside world again, but they had never imagined that those trial takers would brandish their butcher knives against them. They slaughtered them to take the Yuan spirit stones they possessed. Because of the change in the world, they received a powerful restriction in the immemorial path. As a result, the invader's slaughter was disastrous. Some tribes were completely destroyed. Back then, they had been furious. They hadn't understood why those disciples would want to kill them. They had tried to communicate with the trial takers, but the only response had been their icy and bloody blades. In that first encounter, the aboriginals suffered immense losses, but that had just been the start. That battle had lasted for a year. Several years later, another batch of trial takers had entered. They came from a different continent, but they also brought slaughter. If they saw aboriginals, they killed them and crazily snatched their resources. The aboriginals were finally completely infuriated. An immense war was fought and both sides took heavy losses. This kind of situation repeated over and over. Sometimes it would be a few years before a new group of people came. Sometimes it would be decades. By this time, they no longer viewed them as trial takers, but as invaders. At some unknown point, the aboriginals had noticed a kind of ore that could block the power of the restriction the world placed on them. They excavated that ore and built altars out of it. When the immemorial path opened, they would activate those altars and have their tribesmen hide within their range. When the immemorial path closed, they would deactivate the altars and be free to roam around. This was why Shagu and the others' power was so heavily restricted outside but was restored to normal here. In all these years, you've never managed to properly communicate with anyone. Long Chen frowned. This matter was extremely strange. Why would they want to kill these aboriginals? Was it really just for the Yuan spirit stones? Or was there some other goal? We've tried but regretfully, each time ends in disappointment. Furthermore, one time was extremely dangerous. An invader won our trust. As a result, he colluded with others to destroy the altars of several tribes. That caused, well, I don't need to say it, sighed the old tribe leader. He clearly felt gloomy about this topic. Even with his death imminent, he wasn't able to accept this. No wonders the aboriginals would hate the invaders. Both sides are like fire and water with such a complicated relationship. But I'm curious, from the first time I heard of the immemorial path to when I entered, my seniors didn't mention any enmities with you, they just told me I had to be careful of you, that you were the most terrifying enemies in the immemorial path, said Long Chen, that's because the invaders never care about the history of the victims, furthermore, after so much time had passed, not even your seniors would necessarily know about this kind of matter, but there is one thing that's for sure, each time the immemorial path is opened, a pack of red-robed people will deliberately come to slaughter us aboriginals. They are both merciless and vicious. Furthermore, they have special tools to break our altars. They're the existence we adhor the most, said the old tribe leader. Red robes? Didn't that refer to the corrupt path? Could it be that the corrupt path knew something others didn't? Long Chen wondered to himself. He faintly smelled the scent of a scheme. Everything had happened so abruptly and it simply didn't make sense. There was no logic to it. But those matters had happened so long ago that there was no proof to be found to reveal the truth. To solve this riddle was far too difficult. The old tribe leader continued telling him about the past. After inventing the altars, the aboriginals had also constructed various transportation formations between them as well as secret lairs. The women and children who had appeared had come from one of those hideouts. If the Shao tribe was destroyed, those women and children would survive to continue their bloodline. Once these hideouts and transportation formations were constructed, the tribes would be able to help each other as soon as they were attacked by invaders. As for Shafei's father, he was the previous tribe leader, and he had fallen in battle against invaders. Back then, Shafei's father had already reached foundation forging, but the altar had been destroyed during the battle, and so his power had been greatly restricted. After bringing down several powerful invaders, he ended up dying on the battlefield. Long Chen nodded inside. 
perhaps the only ones who could kill a rank 3 celestial who had reached foundation forging, even with his power greatly restricted, would be experts on the level of Zhu Yu, Yu Chang Heo, and Wang Junmo. Furthermore, they would have to first advance to see expansion. The fact that Xiao Fei's father had been able to fight such experts with his power restricted showed how powerful he had been. He was worthy of being acclaimed as the Xiao tribe's number one expert. Furthermore, from the old tribe leader, he had heard that the heavenly deos here were extremely strong. The stronger the person, the more restricted their power would be without the protection of the altar. It was no wonder the aboriginals would need to hide from the invaders despite having so many experts. The heavenly deos restricted them to the point that their lives were in constant danger. Following the battles, more and more people died, and so the hatred on both sides grew deeper. As a result, the invaders treat us as prey, while we also treat them as prey to be killed said the old tribe leader. In order to get stronger, the aboriginals began to explore the various trial regions. Those places had immense rewards inside, and they understood the immemorial path better than anyone else. It was just regretful that their disciples weren't strong enough. Their disciples might be celestials, but they were just rank 1 celestials. Many of the better trials were too difficult, and attempting them would just be suicide. Furthermore, Anyone whose cultivation base was greater than the Xi'anshan realm would be sensed by the laws and killed. Rank 2 celestials were rare amongst them. As for someone like Xiao Fei who had the talent to become a rank 3 celestial, they were as rare as phoenix feathers or unicorn horns. That was why they had so eagerly hoped for Xiao Fei to awaken his power. When the immemorial path was closed, they would send some disciples in search of trials and resources, and other disciples in search of Yuan spirit stone deposits for excavation. Long Chen, this map contains detailed markings about all the trials we know of. Both the difficulty and what you'll find inside are indicated, but no one knows what rewards you'll get for passing. It'll be up to your own luck. The old tribe leader handed Long Chen a map. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. This map was incredibly detailed, and the greatest thing was that it was a map of the complete immemorial path. Oh, the immemorial path isn't just a single line. Long Chen was startled. The immemorial path wasn't a straight path. It had the shape of a cross. Yes, the immemorial path has the shape of a cross. The greatest trials are at the center, and it is where the secrets to reaching immortality or godhood lie. However, the place has been destroyed. The center is the true core of the immemorial path, but there is divine energy that prevents anyone from entering, said the old tribe leader. No one can enter? No one at all, asked Long Chen. That place took the most damage and there are strange laws that destroy anyone that gets close. Long Chen immediately thought to himself that it would be too stifling to not go there. When he had the time, he would definitely go and take a look. Long Chen, this is just a token of our Xiao tribe's appreciation. The old tribe leader handed him a spatial ring. Long Chen looked inside and jumped. Are these Yuan spirit stones? Inside the spatial ring, there were countless fist-sized spirit stones. They were shining brightly, but they weren't see-through. There was some yellow energy circulating within them. That was the world's purest energy. This is 100,000 Yuan spirit stones. It's 90% of what our Xiao tribe has accumulated over the years. Long Chen, you can't decline, said the old tribe leader. This is definitely too much. I can't accept it. Long Chen hadn't expected to be gifted this much. No matter how thick his face was, he couldn't accept basically all their money. Long Chen, you must take this. First of all, for us, only foundation forging experts can use these Yuan spirit stones. While we only have three foundation forging experts, the remaining Yuan spirit stones we have are enough for us to get by for many years. And once the immemorial path closes, we'll once more go in search of mines. There's no need for you to worry about it. The old tribe leader patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Long Chen was moved. Although he had helped Xiao Fei awaken, and so he had assumed the Xiao tribe would give him some kind of reward. He hadn't expected it to be so great. In fact, it was too much for him to accept. With Xiao Fei awakening as a rank 3 celestial and awakening his bloodline, as well as the ancestral diagram, we don't know how else to thank you, said the old tribe leader. Then I'll shamelessly accept. But you must accept a small gift from me as well. Long Chen also fetched out a spatial ring and gave it to the old tribe leader. When he looked inside, it was his turn to be startled. 